Sweet. Whoa. Life. Ah. No. Uh-oh. Right. Alright, all right. We're, 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 we're back! Oh, man. We are back. Begrudgingly speaking. For th they're, they're begrudgingly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to be here. Because I am... No one loves this game like So you can this. murder Tims. <laughs> well, yeah, already murdering Tims. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like this game. I don't like this... I don't like these Tims. No. Uh, Alright, um... Where... I, f I forgot... Momentarily, I forgot what fucking game I was pr was playing, and I put <laughs> and I pushed triangle to try and open the fucking pause menu. Oh, you fool! I oh, am a fool. fool. How did you forget? There's <laughs> only one button. I know, right? There's. It's such an easy and in intuitive. Yeah. Game like this. Yay! <laughs> oh, yay! I'm so happy and so excited to be here, back with my good friend, Mr. Bala and the Wonder World. All right, we're gonna go to World <laughs> Three because that's. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that's what the th Act Three doors looked like, and my brain saw three and was like, Ah, World Three. No. Incorrect. All right. So, Mush, what are you doing on your side? So we we actually have a. Uh... Uh, multi-stream going on right now and I well as of right now we only have a uh, blank background of stage curtains but I am going to be going back and reading more yes. of the terrible ad novel adaptation yes. of let's the fucking go yes oh. Oh. the adventures of Street Beat Leo mm -hmm. so we started doing this last time Clue streamed Valon, which was a long time ago. Yeah, no, the last so the last time that we streamed the novel specifically was uh, when I finished the game and I was going through the Act Three stages. Um, <laughs> and we didn't bring it back for the subsequent ones where I played the game as a joke. Um, hang on a second, why am I not doing the obvious thing? I don't know what the obvious thing is. Getting my fucking triple jumper outfit. <laughs> ah, right. The blatantly OP one. Gotta scroll all so the way to the thing. right. Oh yeah, double trouble. Key mouse. How could I forget key mouse? <laughs> key mouse is cute. The most useful. I don't think you have triple jumpers. I don't, actually. I just have the one <laughs> double jumper. God. Oh, no, I remember what I was going over here for. Okay, so... Yeah, uh... In, in essence, we're... A uh, Clue is going to be playing more of the game, and then I am going to be reading more of the novel alongside. As a, as a quick recap, basically, the first entire third of the book is introducing us to the weird names they gave each and every one of can the you, characters. Yeah, I was going to say, can you go over those again? Because I don't remember any of them. Oh, uh... To be clear, I don't remember any of their regular names either, but... Do they even have actual names? They do. The man who rages against the storm. Of course, of course. The man who rages against so, the corn. Hang on, I gotta. Uh, I have to actually go and see what their what I their names are the page, now. Then, I'll I'll bring up the page on my end. All right, so we have uh, Street Beat, our main character, who Clue is currently playing as. Yep, except he's a redhead. Ah, yeah, this one's blonde. We have. The fighter. The a fighter. girl called fighter. The girl called fighter. I forgot she had a fucking title. Fighter. Oh, man. Uh, we have... The grinning Balan. man in the top hat. Even Balan. The grinning man in the top hat. And Lance. He gets a normal Ooh. name. He, yeah, he just, he just gets his normal name. But he, Basically, the, the plot of the book adaptation is that uh, Lance has taken all of the characters captive and is pretending to be a gracious host for them. 
and uh, then he feeds on their emotions or some shit like that. Yeah, like this. With this Kingdom Hearts ass cutscene. <laughs> this happens after the novel starts, to be clear. The novel oh, begins he, and he uh, looks like that, and he's all friendly looking, and then he's like, Oh, Wonderworld is in danger. Here, embrace the nothingness and and your depression. And then that's right, he he turns all of he turns all of the characters into their boss battle forms as like, uh, and they all voluntarily accept it because mm -hmm. he claims it's like a way to protect your world of dreams or some shit. I still don't understand why these don't play at the beginning of the stage instead of at the beginning of the boss. That would make fight. things a lot make a lot more sense. Yes. Because like as for them. overall, they are like pretty decent at like explaining. An emotional conflict even if it doesn't explain the literal events that happen like it still shows that the person is like troubled and it gives context as mm -hmm. to why the stage is the way that it is but you know fuck that anyway moving on next we have the clock tower kid who's the the little girl with the green hair and the clock the tower cat. kid's actual name is I don't uh, fucking remember. Oh, oh, Cass? Cass? Actually yeah, no, that's it why I'm in this like menu. Her name is Cass Milligan. Hmm. She has she has a very cute design. She is adorable. And then her cat fucking dies. Uh. <laughs> Except it doesn't. Because this Somehow. game is fucking stupid. You, you want me to go on or yeah, no, keep going? Keep going, keep going. Okay. Uh, we have the pensive Piero. Yes, pensive Piero. Con man. I fucking uh, hate him. Scarecrow, the farmer. That's not his a name. That's the man who raises the corn. Yeah, this man is. This is. This is a uh, farmer Ted. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So the clown's name is Atilia. Attilio Caccini. Uh, Ugh, and then, I hate Italians. Yeah, I know. Um, and uh, Farmer Ted's name is Jose Gallard, um, but it's not. It's Farmer Ted. <laughs> You're whitewashing him? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I missed this somehow. Bugsy! I forgot her Bugsy. name was Bugsy. <laughs> it's. That's a better name. Bugsy. Bugsy. I love th this fucking caterpillar. It's a wiggler. I pointed at my <laughs> computer monitor as if that had any any indication. <laughs> you have I forgot to use the, the T-pose arms. Hmm? Yeah, the, the, um, back, the characters the in the background characters. don't bend their <laughs> arms at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, I, These bugs are so cute, though. Back, but just like, mm -hmm. given the overall quality of the game in general. Mm -hmm. the, the Watcher uh, of the Woods. Is, and Sentinel of the City. Yeah, Santa Hudson and the worst... Uh, e Ace? A Ace? 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 <laughs> Ace? Either, either way, <laughs> his world nice. is the worst. Uh, yeah, it's the one where Mario screams at you. Or Wario, <laughs> rather. That was Mario. That was Mario. <laughs> That's right. Next oh, is yeah. Why is this art so nice? I don't know. <laughs> His name is... Good... I got some good artists and illustrators for this shit. This kid's name is Hayao Chung, or... Chang? I didn't read it. Mm, one or the other. Non-white name. True. I'm, f I'm like maybe 20% confident that any of these names actually are like actual names because most of them just look like nonsense. Or, or, or they look like 
what Japanese speakers think English names are, like that one Famicom oh, baseball like, game. Like death Note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Or um, I think I think uh, what's his face? Um, um, uh, Jeff Thu, when he was doing his review of Platinum's End, uh, he said like, uh, like that's just what the guy who wrote uh, Monogat or I think it was Monogatari or uh, whatever. Fuck, I don't know. Um, uh, Bakuman. Ba this is just what the guy who wrote Bakuman thought English names sound like. <laughs> who and who am I to say no? Definitely not Jeff Thu. Probably something like <laughs> Garfield Thundercheeks. I don't know. And just that 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 example always. I'm stuck changing out to my me. name to that. <laughs> That's a warrior cat's name. Yeah, it goes hard. <laughs> Oh yeah! Uh, like, wait, Sky Gazer and Sea Gazer. Hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. Sea Gazer is one of the few characters who sounds like she has an actual name. Fiona Demetria. Mm hmm. Uh, Madam of the Mansion. What's her name? Uh, Lucy Wong. It. Actual name again. Oh, another actual name. Checkered King. The... Eben Via! <laughs> oh no, that Cal that guy Suresh. who loses one chess match and then decides to retire and beat up kids in chess. Yeah. yeah. I respect it. Fuck them kids. This cutscene is probably the single funniest one, though. Just because it. Because, like, there is an actual thing that happens to this character that is relevant to him being, like, emotionally. Mm -hmm. Upset, and yet this doesn't convey any of it. <laughs> it just looks like he's being a fucking bitch. <laughs> Loses once. And then he dies. Uh, That's so sad. Invisible custodian. Bruce Stone. <laughs> now that's a comic book name. Oh. This, this is just the lady of the Midnight Sun, but we know this is Dubby's. She's actually just yeah. Dubby's wife. Tum Dubby's What's your wife. Name? <laughs> also, her both both her parents and also her her uh, her fiance actually have like decently recognizable character designs. When you see them, like clearly, like they're actually. I don't know. Like it, it's, it's just bizarre to me that you don't see them at like all on the stage. Meta it's like metaphorical. Something like that, probably. I choose to believe that everything is literal. <laughs> it's funnier in the that dream way. World game? <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. I could have that better. <laughs> oh, that was the last one. Oh, cool. I can actually go play the game now. Yeah. It's worth noting that they don't like shorten these names at all. They're referred to with the entire title every time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 And that's the funniest part. <clears throat> but you know what Even I should have been doing that whole time? I should have been grinding for uh, for double jumpers. That would probably have been smart. Yeah. Oh well. Even better though is that they actually make. They make Street Beat's name longer by hyphenating his real name to the end of it. And then they say that every time. It's so good. Street Beat Leo. Street Beat Leo. <laughs> it's, his parents got divorced. <laughs> that's, no! why, that's why his name is hyphenated. <laughs> that's why he's traumatized. Not because he doesn't have any friends, but because his parents are divorced. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Forbidden lore. All right, this this wasn't the page that it was on when I opened up the book, but we're just gonna start from the beginning of the, the section. Might as well. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Part three, battle. Battle. Uh oh. Battle. Not all is well in Balan Wonderworld. 
<laughs> the one that used to be Scarecrow. When Street Beat Leo opened his eyes again, he couldn't help but <laughs> gasp at the strange scenery surrounding him. Where are we? Where you told me to go, only a few moments prior, no? Also, get, get used to fucking Balan's rhymes. <laughs> oh my god, that's so right! Shit also. <laughs> yeah, no, there are some that are, like, actually decently cute, and then there are mo But then, like, because he has to speak like that all the time, it just becomes so insufferable. They so really many of them are so bad. So, so Most bad. Most of them are just bad. <laughs> is, is this Scarecrow stage? Said Leo, gulping. Are you sure? Where there ought to have been an expanse of cornfields was instead an endless, towering stone wall. Sure as sure can get. He's transformed it for battle, if you want my bet. Streetbeat Leo looked around as Balan spoke. Here and there he caught vestiges of the old stage he remembered. He was relieved to see that the farmhouse porch at least was unchanged. Oh, it's with good. the wall. <laughs> Balan put his hands on his hips. A physical manifestation of his real-world harm from before he came here to this farm. You think he he's doesn't even separate his line, his rhyme scheme well, is the problem I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> no flow whatsoever. <clears throat> you think he's trying to protect his stage from the, the dancing trees he saw? He did! I forgot about that part! <laughs> 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 What? Yes, that's how they're representing the tornado. Maybe. No, I think they're talking about the the end goal for the stage. Um, if you recall, each of them is like a dark. Uh, uh oh, yeah, the the right, the end goal trees. Maybe something to do with the niggities. Oh yeah. right. You're you're rhyming, Mush. You're rhyming. It's bleeding oh, over. Oh god. Uh -oh. oh god, no. <laughs> oh. Well. It's a good guess, little one. You're quite the sleuth. But you'll have to free Scarecrow from negativity to get the truth. Scarecrow, what are you trying to protect your farm and yourself from? So, how do I free him then? Remember the lights that flew out of Clock Tower Kid when she changed? <laughs> Those were positive fragments of her heart. The last two that remained. It didn't even fucking rhyme. That's a bad change remained. That's a stretch. Uh, <laughs> you're just bullshitting at this point. You uh, must find everyone's fragments somehow, then fire them into the mark Lance left on their brow. As Balan spoke, Street Beat Leo caught sight of the fuzzy furball creatures bouncing around. Before, they were so translucent he could barely see them, but now they were solid and defined. What are those things doing here? Those creatures are Tims, but of this you are already aware. Oh They've yeah, grown weak. you you know you know about the Tims. Everyone knows about the Tims. Am I Everyone right, fellas? Everyone knows Tims. <laughs> Everyone knows grown... Tims. Vine boom, as they <laughs> as, it's just literally the shoes. <laughs> God damn it! You just took his. <laughs> I am an enchanter. You may call me Tim? With the question mark every time. <laughs> that's, how, that's how he delivers the line in the movie. <laughs> if memory serves, he forgot what he was supposed to say there, but Tim was so much funny that he just kept it. Yup. <laughs> They've grown weak due to the negative corruption everywhere. You couldn't see them while Lance held you in his sway, but they never left your side for a single day. And the poor things are starved for drops to eat. You should give them some as a treat. Cry, I bitch. I will. <laughs> What'll happen if I do that? You'll Balan have to unlock gave... a really long fucking side quest. Yeah, uh -huh. it'll it'll probably <laughs> suck. <laughs> Balan only gave him an impish grin. Far be it from me to ruin the surprise. Raise one and see with your own two eyes. Ooh. I... I think that's Scarecrow! Leo ran over to the farmer as fast as his feet would go, but Scarecrow vanished before he could. They hired Vanilla Ice! Oh, God! This <laughs> 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 fucking sucks. <laughs> this is so good. Balan groaned. 
<laughs> Me too, bro. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy. Christ alive. Ugh, over this fucker doesn't even know what Tims lights. are. Take care, little one, when the time comes to fight. What are you talking about? That's what I'm that saying. Wasn't, that wasn't him, I'm afraid. Just an illusion the positivity banished from his heart has made. Though in its weakened state the light still guides, it can show you where the real scarecrow hides. Then we have to follow it. There's no point going when we haven't cleared the first roadblock. Scarecrow has shut himself up tight, and there is only one key that opens the lock. Balance He's so me. inconsistent with, like, the meter in every rhyme, and that's what really is. Absolutely not. Was this written in English, or is some no. quote like, the figure out how to do this every not. single time? Yeah, you know, despite the fact yeah. that this game is available in, like, hang on, how many languages? Oh, more no, than I... it needs. Yeah, yeah. Do it they, from this they, menu. They wanted it. They wanted it to be in av available in every single language available that in, like that is uh, that English speakers speak. Yeah, no, duh. Uh, they, they wanted it to be available <laughs> in every language spoken uh, uh, on Earth. Um, but the problem is, they That's made the a lot story. Of languages. They made the story exclusive to uh, English and Japanese. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, nobody else is forced to suffer through this. No! The of his heart we need, if from Lance's power he is to be freed. Leo nodded, then set off toward the stone wall that stood where farmland once sprawled. Why? Why was Is the narration that? rhyming now? <laughs> hey, Maddie, good to see you. Kind of, sort of? Not... It's close enough. On the way, they nice passed a couple shot. of drops. They were all floating in the air just out of the little Tim's reach. Leo grabbed them and gave them to the furballs where he could, noticing they seemed to perk up and grow a little bigger after eating them. Please don't talk about furballs that perk up and grow like that. <laughs> they had been a little spooky when he hadn't been able to see them as anything more than blurry shadows. But now we got a better look at them. They were kind of cute. They're Some, of the Tims were were all <laughs> Some of the Tims he fed seemed to take a liking to him and follow him around as he walked. Kind of like this you can see right they, now. They will not stop, to be clear. They will not leave you alone. Sometimes they they'll throw themselves like... at enemies, and it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> They kept on like this for a while. Leo plucking hey. drops from the air. Wait, just just Leo? Just Leo? No! Leo? How? You can't. You, you can't. You can't. He's <laughs> street beat. That's Leo. not his Christian Pluck, name. <laughs> plucking drops from the air and feeding the Tims bouncing in his way. Look, and you'll see there are drops all around. Indeed, even inside that stone, one can be found. Saps is fighting a, a guy that really, really wants to fuck Cloud. You're gonna have to be yeah, more specific than that. <laughs> Isn't that like half the cast of the game? <laughs> True enough. And also most of the fandom. <laughs> In here? Leo touched the one Balan was pointing to. Oh, okay. I need a hammer or something to break it open. <laughs> Balan gave an exasperated shake of his head. You forget we're in Wonder World, where impossible is only a matter of your imagination's range. Your stage, little one, isn't the only thing you have the power to change. Uh... Images of Clock Tower Kid morphing into a giant monster flash through Leo's mind. Oh, cool, so I can become a kaiju. Which yeah! Is so hard, actually. <laughs> that, would, that would make this game uh... so much cooler. We uh -huh. need Alan Wonderworld, but it's Rampage. <laughs> uh, that's a good question, Gomez. Uh, there, at the beginning, there was this whole subplot about a uh, fighter sh turning up every once in a while alongside Balan to try and free everyone from the 
dream realms or something, but I can't remember what actually happened to her since. I feel like C got, if I remember right, which I probably don't, because the last time we read this was like two years ago. Uh, <laughs> I should probably have like done a quick yeah. test over just to refresh Look, my if this memory, game doesn't, if this game to. doesn't care enough to give you the story, why should we care about taking the story from the novel? Exactly. Yes. If, if also, I nothing fucking right, happened yet, so, like, if we're I fine. <laughs> right, Lance, like, kidnapped her or something. I think so. 90 pages of nothing. Yep. 90 pages of character introductions. It's like a fan fiction, but they don't skip to the good part, and so they just have a bunch of really <laughs> clunky introductions to every character. <clears throat> uh, images of Clock Tower Kid morphing into a giant monster flash through Leo's mind. You mistake my intent. That isn't at all what I meant, said Balan, as if he could tell what Leo was thinking from the look on his face. There are no secrets in the ghost world. <laughs> <laughs> isn't your negativity you draw power from now, but positivity, and I'll tell you how. Take cleaving open this stone for a start. Envision yourself strong enough to do it in your heart. In Yes, Pensive Piero. Pensive Piero. Yeah! <laughs> that was her favorite one, aside from Street Beat, uh -huh. Street Beat Leo is an, an immortal classic, but Pensive Piero is a close second. <laughs> Envision The fighter's strength? in its own category. <laughs> Said Leo, it's not, not quite Is it the fighter or just fighter? It's just it's fighter. fighter. It, oh, yeah, it's fighter. No, it's just fighter. <laughs> You're thinking of, like, the every friend group has me. We are... Every yeah. single time her name comes up, I thought All of All I can think of. Drug. Drug. I, I prefer to just pronounce it as because that's all that image yeah, that's, clarifies. That's, prob that's probably the original intent. Yeah. And th the fact that it translates to friend is, is just funnier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Think of positivity like a costume you don whenever you need some additional brawn. Is that what I'm doing? I guess? What the positive fuck? costume? Why do I need keys to unlock my positivity? <laughs> it's um, called depression, if maybe. We, if we wait a moment, I'll probably explain that too. Hmm, this won't do. Balan tapped a finger to his lips. It still isn't coming to you? Well then. Let me call forth Scarecrow's vision. Perhaps his stage's power will help your cognition. Something, something Persona 5. Uh, Holy shit, <laughs> epic, epic Persona reference. Someone someone get Five Tail in, in here and uh, tell them that this is actually a novel that uh, is <laughs> about... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to come up with a Maruki joke, but I can't think of anything. Alan reached for Leo, and the moment he touched him, Leo was enveloped in light. He squeezed his eyes shut against the overpowering luminescence. Once it finally faded, he took a timid peek at his hands. They were giant! And his fingernails <laughs> exploded into long, sharp claws. What did you do to me? Balan winked. A mirror- Never a good a response to have! <laughs> <laughs> and in it, he saw he'd been transformed into a wolf. He was still roughly the same height, but his whole body was covered in fur, and his upper half rippled with powerful new muscle. See, it's this. always more impactful if you don't just explicitly say, he was transformed into a wolf. It's always better if you just ah. ex describe it first, and then... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Balan turned him into a furry! <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, hey, let's be clear. It wasn't Balan, it was... Uh, a uh, scarecrow. The power of scarecrow. It was Farmer Ted. Yeah, it was Farmer, Farmer Ted. Farmer Ted is a furry. Farmer Ted Farmer is a furry. Farmer Ted yes. went fur con. Farmer Ted's this corn sona. Is, is the shape of strength in Scarecrow's eyes. See if it's name you can surmise. Leo I can stared. barely remember the names of these things, and I fucking read them. And Leo stared and stared at his reflection in the mirror. Tornado Wolf. Leo took in a sharp breath. Whoa, it was more epic. than just a that came to him. He knew all the things he was capable of in this form, too. He knew the all one, one single thing. thing. <laughs> all one, single one thing. thing. He knew the one button press he could do. Leo stood in front of the stone, drew an arm back, and swiped down as hard as he could. The stone shattered like delicate glass under the blow. 
drops see, to, to, to be clear cubicle. to be clear that for, to anyone that hasn't seen this game in a while that is not what tornado wolf does T tornado nope. wolf jumps and makes a little tornado while it jumps that is it as the name as evidenced by the name and that is the only thing it can do in terms of responses to someone screaming, a <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Giving a wink is a close yeah! box, box, and shouting about science. Box, box, fox. Let's fucking go! I do like box, fox. Yeah! It's really cute. It's cute, but it it's so <laughs> bad. This when this costume, to like be it. clear, this costume is what made me buy this. Or not? I didn't. But to be clear, I didn't buy this game. I, what made me play this game was time. seeing, was seeing that, t the, seeing that tweet, talking about Box Fox, and they get the pop up message, and then they start walking, and then they go towards the slope, and then the slope just fucking kills them. <laughs> Ow. Uh, goodbye, Fox Fox. I mean Box Fox. I <laughs> always mix up which, which, what order you say it in. Uh, I remember watching Fox Box when I was a kid. Ooh. Hang on, let me try that actually. Mm -hmm. Do I have more than one tornado wolf? I better. It's almost like it's the first Ooh. costume in the game. Should be able to do that actually. It, it really is telling that it takes glitches to make this game interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like your speed run attempt. <laughs> to be, that was so fucking cool though. I was so, I was super proud of that. I'd love to try it again after actually practicing a little bit. Okay. Swap between them and jump at the same time. Oh, hang on. Hmm. What, uh, what does it actually do? Do I need to jump at the same time as changing, or is it... Not what they said. Or... Bell and Grin. And oh, there are more frame. costumes okay. to be found. Ones that let you breathe fire or fly high above the ground. The the fire one is the worst. To be clear, because <laughs> you you can I, you can't jump while you can breathe fire. You get one. You know what? Let me try this. Actually, I'm gonna change the. It's tougher on PS5. Well, let me actually do this. I'm gonna change the frame rate and go back to 30 frames per second. Oh yeah. Oh, not 30 frames. Okay. So then it should be slightly easier this time. Hmm cut himself off, grabbing Leo's shoulder and jerking his chin toward a negative. But the creature must have already spotted them because it was creeping their way. What should we do? There's only one thing to do. Get rid of it before it gets rid of you. You mean, it's kill or be killed, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit, epic Undertale reference. Story of Undertale. <laughs> bum, have to kill bum, it. Bum. Oh, whoa, there we go. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you got it. Yeah, oh, you think? <laughs> Look at him go. Ah, oh, that was delightful. <laughs> Niggity and Tim's, for that matter, Tornado don't man. die. They just don't die. And the power runs dry. <laughs> How is that different? Uh, I don't know. It is a different. It is a, they, it is a unique they action. They do reappear. Eventually, they do reappear, though how long that takes is unclear. Leo breathed a sigh of relief to hear that. Even if the negative was enemies now, he'd gotten used to seeing the little creatures around Wonderworld. He didn't think he could bring himself to kill one, even in self-defense. I could. Fuck those guys. <laughs> so. How do I make it disappear? Me, oh my, asking questions you certainly do adore. Especially all the ones I've answered before. <laughs> Fucking problem, man. <laughs> oh yeah, wow, uh, wow and him. Smart. If there are any glitches in a, in a given area that I'm at, uh, feel free to remind me. Because uh, I, I do, it, it would be neat to try and show some of those off. Negity come from the negative piece of a person's heart, born from their fears and doubt. The only Why way to Valen get rid a of a dick? thing. Like... The question. <laughs> what is this fucking problem? What is wrong with him? He's an, he's an asshole. He is kind of an asshole. Oh fuck! I don't mm -hmm. actually have the clock tower guy. 
Fuck. That means I can't get one of the... Uh -oh. What am I talking about? I can just fucking double jump. Boing. <laughs> Who cares about actually following the stage gimmicks when you have double jump? Uh, ha ha! Got it. Negative come from the negative piece of a person's heart, born from their fear and doubt. The only way to get rid of a thing like that is to is simply stamp it out. <laughs> oh yeah, I did that one. I remember doing the... Uh... The first and second level checkpoints, you can simply oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember doing that. That was so much fun. Let me actually see if I can do that again now that I think. Uh, uh, just just for funsies. As Leo puzzled over that, the niggity appeared right in front of him. Without thinking, he leapt into the air, stamping down hard on the creature. Dusky. Negative That's a good sound sound effect. <laughs> yes, just like that. Now, the time for my advice is done. You'll have to figure out- My work here is done! You one. didn't do anything! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're, you're not gonna help me? This is your test, not mine, I'm afraid. To leave Wonderworld, you must earn the passing grade. And but if you fail, one, what happens? You die. You, you just suck there forever. Be you on to the end. Yeah, we'll meet like that. again after you've rescued your friend. Did I just get that first? Oh no, actually, the the actual way of doing it lets you fly way, way up into the air, and it lets you skip the mm. in, over the gate too. But yeah, mm. um, I am actually trying to get all the statues right now, so I do actually need to go inside. Um, alas, but, alas. But yeah, I do remember doing that. That was a lot of fun. As soon as he finished speaking, Balan vanished. Leo felt helplessness creep into his heart now that he was on his own. There was nowhere to go but onward, so onward he went. Towering walls crisscrossed the stage the and winding. <laughs> forgot that they Bye. Winding, befuddling paths. Oh, no, that was, that, you know what that was? That wasn't me hitting the fan, that was a vast antivirus popping up and <laughs> and it clicked me out of the game. So oh I just, God. it released the button for me. That's so funny. <laughs> it wants to save you. <laughs> a vast it antivirus has detected right. that this is, this is a problem for you. Oh, there's a mirror up there. Okay. That's where the first one was. Leo walked through them, smashing any stones that barred his way. He picked up the drops that spilled from the rubble and gave them to the Tims that followed him, like Balan had suggested. With each drop, the Tims grew a little bigger, though Leo didn't notice any other changes taking place. He just stared. Stared at him. He looked at me, Supposed that and I looked at happy. him. <laughs> he looked at me, and I looked at him. Go in the mirror! What the fuck? Mirrors are banned. What? Hold the button, press another button while holding the first. I will try that. Is that just at any time? What do you mean point? another button? There's only one button in this game. Yeah. There's a button. <laughs> he followed the illusion scarecrow for a long time and led him up a tall rise. At the top of the rise, there was a tree, big and beautiful and bright. Leo saw a light that looked just like the ones that had flown out of Clock Tower Kid's body wrapped in a protective nest of branches. It's a heart tree. Leo realized he could figure the name of anything in Wonderworld now. As long oh, as he stared good! At oh, good! I'm glad someone can. <laughs> <laughs> he reached for the glowing tree, but something zapped his hand back. Ow! Pain tingled from the tips of his fingers down to his elbow. <laughs> I can just I'm turn cheating. it off! Hang on, oh. so I go up to a checkpoint, I hold the button to activate the costumes, and if you push another button, they just go away. Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh. This is... This kicks power. ass. <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> This is delightful. Finally, Balan, the Balan, Balan Wonder World Wonder Dance Rave. Club. Balan Wonder Rave. <laughs> he looked closer and saw there was some sort of negative force field surrounding the branches. Drawing the upon the strength of his tornado wolf costume, 
he wound a fist back and sent it flying into the branches with all his might. But the blow just bounced off without doing any damage. How tree, embarrassing. Leo clutched his arm, moaning in agony. It hurt way worse than before. Ah. The Tim's behind him looked from Leo to the heart tree, then seemed to understand what it was he was trying to do. A couple Alan of them Wonder began Ray throwing themselves at the tree. Delightful. I love that. I love that mental image of a bunch of a bunch of friends going to a fucking Waffle House. I'm, I'm imagining that they're all cosplaying as Balan or Lance, or so they're either in like a very like very uppity top hat, or just a comedically uh, like comedically emo looking outfit uh, <laughs> at a Waffle House, doing with <laughs> doing a raid. Waffle House. Very fun. Negative force field disappeared. Positive power must have neutralized it. Ah. But the Tims that had struck the tree were as small as they had been before he gave them the drops, maybe even smaller. They must have used up the drops' power in their attack. Picture of the Tims bopping the tree. Oh. Are you hurt? The Tims only gazed at Leo with unreadable eyes. Maybe this is their way of thanking me for the drops. He felt a pang of guilt they now. They kill for at you. The, <laughs> looking at the now tiny Tims. Thanks. Uh, you can't. You can't oh, just. You can't just say that in a post-Christmas Carol world. Uh huh. AKA in most of English literature. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was getting to like the Tims more and more by the minute. There were little animals. I wish I could say the same. All the states yeah. he had been to in Wonderworld. But up until now, he hadn't really hey, cared what, about what, them what, one what? way or the other. Okay. Bye. Goodbye, Street Beat Leo. Mumbling another quiet thank you under his breath, Leo took hold of the fragment. As soon as his fingers closed around it, he knew what Scarecrow had abandoned when he rid himself of this fragment. He wanted to protect his family. Did he? Just, just, just gonna let you think about that for a while like this this is completely original to the book this yeah jose is a, jose's a dill obviously you couldn't Holy tell shit. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'll do better in the future no. you're not up to date on your balan wonder world i'm lore? sorry for being so close-minded <laughs> It was sad to think Scarecrow had discarded such an important part of his heart. The illusion Scarecrow was pointing again, somewhere off in the distance. That's right, Bucktail Kid had two fragments. One down, one to go. Leo's search wasn't done yet. He went where the illusion led him. I still don't know why Scarecrow saw dancing trees in his vision. He had to guess. They probably had something to do with the reason Scarecrow went into the Balan Theater. Oh, in the first yeah, time. no, they are referring to literal trees then. Like, yeah, they're not talking the about the tornado shadow tree. The wind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, trees being blown around by the tornado. Most likely. That and his desire to protect his family. Leo came to a castle wall. Peering at it, he saw it was missing something arrow slits. Castle ramparts always had those little holes in them so the soldiers inside could shoot arrows or guns at the invading enemy, but Leo couldn't see a single opening in this wall. Guns confirmed cannon of Balan Wonderworld. Holy shit. Warfare those... confirmed. Those dancing trees were going to attack my stage. I'd want to be able to shoot flaming arrows or something at them. Balan Wonderworld of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> What's he trying to protect his farm from, if not the trees? What happened to him in the real world? Leo shook his head. I'll worry about that later. Street beat Leo pressed onward. Oh, At oh, last. I see how it is. I'm just gonna be inconsistent with your naming, I see. He's looking <laughs> bullshit never. At last, he found the second heart tree. The Tim seemed to know what he wanted to do. They bounced ahead of him before he could stop them and rammed right into the tree. The negative force field surrounding it vanished, but the Tims that had rammed it grew smaller and weaker. I wish there was another way. <clears throat> There's got to be another way. Leo rushed to gather nearby drops, feeding them to his Tims. The fuzzballs got a little bigger after eating them. He let out a sigh of relief and reached for the fragment. 
See, the, the, every time they try to keep them down. Every time they try and explain like a like a gameplay mechanic, all I can think of is the fact that this should have been in like the manual. Like if they wanted to use like story as a means to explain gameplay mechanics to like reduce the amount of text in game, that would have been cute. If they had like Balan in the game say uh say uh uh uh, if you need so, uh, if you need guidance on where to look, look, check out the enclosed instruction book and, <laughs> and <laughs> shit like that. Like I think that'd be kind of like as cheesy and bullshit as that is. That'd be kind of fun, and it'd be a good way to like get people to look and read the text and eat and, like not like you know engage in it in like a genuine manner to parse what they want to do. It's a little like artsy, but like. It's fun and it's a platformer game. Like, how hard can it be to intuit it without it? You know, not very. Mm -hmm. Come on, Clue. Game manual has been obsolete since 2015. Sad. I miss game manual so much. Remember when you would be able to, like, have something to read on the drive home from the. Now the store? all I get is the fucking health and safety warning. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it here. He didn't let any hardship keep him down. But then something terrible must have happened that really got the Scarecrow. Leo shuddered to think what sort of monster Scarecrow's pain must have transformed him into. After all, when Clock Tower Kid discarded her fragments, she turned into a giant cat beast. A Leo giant had hoped he might girl. be able to talk things out with Scarecrow, but that was looking less likely now that he understood just how much of himself Scarecrow had thrown away by getting rid of these fragments. Balan was right. This was not going to be easy. You are not health, nor are you safe. <laughs> <laughs> the illusion scarecrow led Leo onward into the stage. Look at these until cute they little fuckers. Door. These are the guys that you're supposed to kill with Foxbox. Uh, unfortunately, I have that. Or I don't have that, so. Unfortunately, I have Foxbox. <laughs> unfortunately, Fox Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Much to my chagrin. Box. <laughs> Beyond it, Leo knew he Box would find Fox a real being scarecrow. used as a verb is very funny. Get box foxed, idiot. Get, get box foxed, idiot. Grip the doorknob, but it wouldn't budge at all. Ah, right. He took out the two fragments of Scarecrow's hearts touched them to the door. Slowly, slowly it opened. Oh yeah, that's Leo. what you get when you touch the trees. Mm-hmm. You get the little fucking heart piece thing. God, this game's Leo went inside. In the darkness, he saw a strange light flickering. What a horrible place to be shut up all alone. This must be the deepest part of Scarecrow's heart, but nowhere could Leo see even a hint of that beautiful farm of his. Suddenly, the wind started to howl, and a cyclone raged forward out of the darkness. Raged like the corn. <laughs> it disappeared just as it reached him, revealing a gigantic something he could only describe as a monster. It looked just like his tornado wolf costume. Leo should not have been surprised. After all, he had borrowed a shape from Scarecrow's imagination. But unlike Leo's costume, this monster emanated strong negative power. Oh. In the few seconds they glared at each other, Leo came to know his enemy's name. <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> Holy shit. Bark follow me. The actual game itself. <laughs> It is not written in the know. game anywhere. It is written in the soundtrack. Like I know the name of the boss because I yes. uh, because I have the soundtrack, but that's about the only way I've actually heard the name. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. So the changes went deeper it's than the just the worst appearance. name I've ever fucking heard. God, this goes so hard. <laughs> Bartholomew Street Beat. <laughs> Scarecrow, it's me. It's Leo. I mean Street Beat. Stop dead naming it's yourself. Bartholomew, you. it's me. It didn't... <laughs> Bartholomew either did not hear or just did not understand. 
He swiped a giant claw and would have crushed him to dust if he hadn't left out of the way in time. I guess words aren't gonna solve this. With all his dance training, it wasn't too much of a challenge all for Leo to dance dodge training. the monster's attack. All, all of your dance training don't mean shit. You're fucking dreaming, kid. <laughs> it's like it's like the the Phantom Thieves not being able to do all that flippy shit they do in 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 the metaverse. Like fucking obviously they can't do that shit in real life. You're fucking dreaming, kid. Get off your high horse. Monster must have realized. No, he, he can do that in real life too. <laughs> yeah, probably. Because he whipped up another cyclone. How is he doing this? Leo bobbed and wooed around the cyclone, making sure to avoid it as he tried to get closer to Bartholomew. Lance's mark at last came into his range. <laughs> I can't take it fucking seriously. They keep, they keep <laughs> calling Bartholomew! <laughs> Does Joker have a gun in real life? He has a model gun. That's the whole point. Is that the enemies in the metaverse believe that it is real, so they perceive it as real. It's also the reason that they... Therefore, they are able to be hurt by it. Yeah, it's also the reason that he can't just use infinite ammo uh, is because the enemies expect him to eventually run out of ammo, so he eventually runs out of ammo. Leo thrust the two fragments of Scarecrow's heart into the mark. An ear-splitting scream ripped out of Bartholomew's throat as the negative power started to slough from his body. Then the word. Mm-hmm. Within the writhing darkness stood Scarecrow, That's where his it. face slack and eyes glazed over. Like Leo the shouting of that his one name ran to him, shaking him by the shoulders to try and snap him out of his trance. Scarecrow's distant gaze dialed in to focus on Leo. He smiled, the gentle smile Leo remembered, though it was tinged with sorrow. Shock, Street Beat. My memory's sort of fuzzy, but I attacked you, didn't I? I never should have let that negative power take a hold of me and turn me so hateful. I know it ain't no excuse, but I'm awful sorry. Leo uh, shook Ricky. his head. <laughs> it's okay. Shuck I know it wasn't street. really you. Oh, shuck, street beat. <laughs> <laughs> what in tarnation? That was a quick fight. Yeah, I think he hit him like once, twice, tops. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's about as far, it's once. about as long as the fight took in the game, to be clear. But still, I uh, sure owe you big time for rescuing me. Like I said, I don't remember much since the negative power took over, except how heartsick it made me. You know what I just fucking realized is that they're like quite literally just again. This is the Persona Brainworm speaking, but. All I can think of now is just the I am the shadow, the true self memes. Whenever they fucking yeah. turn into their... And then they turn into a big-ass monster that's way larger than their shadow form was. And then... <laughs> and sometimes they're genuinely scary. Like fucking Shadow and, Teddy. Oh, man. And sometimes they are a disco ninja frog. Yeah. I am the boss shadow. fight was the only thing in the book that didn't take six pages to explain mm -hmm. more like. Mm-hmm. Where's that... But Leo noticed the dark light lingering in Scarecrow's eyes. He was not totally free of negative power's grasp yet. Listen, I have to defeat Lance so I can go back to where I came from. Would you help me fight him? Scarecrow shook his head. I've remembered everything from the real world. I worked real hard in the farm so I could give my missus all the nice things she deserved. So I could send our boy to college. Then, one night, the radio said there was a chance some rain and wind was a-coming. There wasn't any old rain and wind that came, but one of the worst twisters I'd ever seen. The dancing trees in my vision? They weren't dancing. They were the oh, trees good. on my farm. I was, I was wondering about that. Oh, man. <laughs> Su it, it, subtlety. Subtlety is this book's forte. I, it, truly incredible. Also, I forgot how much I fucking hate this costume. <laughs> Rotund. Wait, hang on, is there a gl He has glass! He has a glass on his stomach! Oh, there is a glass dome over the clock. Ah! Oh, that would be cute <laughs> if it wasn't so horrifying. Horrifying? Horrifying. Goodness. They weren't dancing. They were the trees on my farm, getting tossed around like ragdolls in its wake. Leo understood now. One th the Skinner one Pro thing that they would improve this game, just the one, the nothing else, otherwise this game would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ragdoll physics, please. <laughs> 
absolutely begging and screaming for ragdoll physics to be added in this game by a patch. Leo understood now why Scarecrow had to put up stone walls around his farm. They were not meant to keep him out, but to protect the fields from the terrible wind. That was why there was no arrow slits. I don't and remember. That explained... I don't remember there being any of those stone walls in World One. Actually, no, at, the, at the very beginning of the level, there's the big. Oh no, I, rem I remember there's one the now. Wall I used that Farmer it. Ted's sitting on. Yeah, I do remember that now because it's part of the speedrun route. You're mm -hmm. supposed to. You're supposed to like trick over it. And that explains why trick over it? all of you. <laughs> he used a cyclone to attack him at the end. It was the fiercest, scariest power Scarecrow knew. That night, our old house moaned and groaned so much, I could have sworn we were going to get blown away. All... We were going to get blown away? His... Hey. <laughs> YouTube poop brain is the only thing keeping me going here, you gotta understand. Couldn't take a single step outside for fear of getting tossed around. Next morning, I went outside and saw all the corn torn out at the roots. None of my crop had Fuck been spared. You. Fuck you! I literally spent like 20 minutes wandering around and I didn't have Box Fox. Uh, and then I found that place and I was like, oh, I should go get Box Fox. And then I went and got Box Fox and I couldn't find that location again. And then I mm. finally find it again and it's after I've already removed Box Fox from my inventory. Fuck this game. <laughs> anyway. A sweet boy tried to comfort me, said he didn't need to go to college, but hearing that only broke what was left of my heart. I remember the shovel falling out of my hands. That's when I saw the Balan Theater, right in the middle of a mangled field. Yeah. He <laughs> turned into Tasmanian Devil there for a second. How <laughs> appropriate. He's also a tornado. Oh my. <laughs> Oh. Oh, delightful. I didn't realize that it literally appeared anywhere. I thought it was just like... I guess! Truth is, the corn crop on my stage would never ripen. I reckon that's on account of me being so afraid of a storm coming right before harvest time. I didn't want to grow something just to watch all that hard work. What, just what, I didn't what, want to grow to something watch it just to watch hard it work. all that hard work get destroyed again. Hang on, I'm trying to I'm trying to read uh -huh. where it is. I don't want to what I didn't want to grow something know. just to watch it all that hard work get destroyed again. Great, good good read, <laughs> good line. Nine out of ten. I get it. Eight out of ten. Leo. Ten out of ten. <laughs> now he knew why he'd felt so uneasy on his first visit to Scarecrow stage, and the farmer had told him all he did was sit in his rocking chair and look out at the fields of corn warned that the farmer made sure would always stay on the cusp of harvest, eternal potential that would never be lost or ruined. I broke my back working that farm, but what do I got to show for it? What am I supposed to do now that it's gone? Ain't nothing for me back in the real world. Might as well stay here on my stage. But your family! Hang on, hang on, where's the, is the, has the dance number not happened yet? Not yet. Okay, good. There How's is it? no dance number in this world. <laughs> What's the fucking point? That isn't true, insisted Leo. I know how much you want to protect your family and how strong you are in the face of hardship. I gave both of those things back to you. Use that power to defeat Lance so you can go home to the real world, to your family. <clears throat> and do what? Shucks, how can I face them after all this? <laughs> the farmer hung his head, covered his face with his hands. I'm as useless as a scarecrow in an empty field. Suddenly, Leo became aware of Balan's presence beside him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> feeling of being watched. <laughs> For a time, we must leave him be, he sighed. Banishing the storm alone will not set him free. His despair goes very, very deep. His heart isn't yet strong enough to fight off its creep. But you've done all you can for your friend. The rest is up to him to mend. Up to him mend. Up. Wait. The rest is up to him mend. <laughs> Good job. We lost the word for gain one now. Complete exchange. Are you sure? Leo looked over at the farmer one last time. He still had his hands over his face, 
but between his fingers, Leo could see the dark light that still glittered in his eyes. Come, little one, there are others yet to save, said Balan, glancing to Leo. Tell me where you want to go next, and the way I shall pave. To Invisible Custodian Stage. Oh good, go to go right to World 12, do the speedrun skip, it's save me a- right save, corner, me, save me- save me the time, please, I'm begging you, Street well, Beat. The game doesn't give the stages to you in the proper order, why should the book? <laughs> yeah, but this is even worse than a prop- than the- the improper order, it's just... nonsense. Where the <laughs> fuck is that stupid area with the little spike balls in them? Isn't that it that you've been jumping over? No, that's where we get the actual costume. Hmm. But they don't down, show up down there. there. Yeah, down oh. there. They don't show up there. I don't even know if that's where the fucking statue is. I just haven't been looking up a guide because I don't feel like tabbing out every three seconds. <laughs> a kindly old chap he may appear at first, but I wouldn't underestimate the dark power his heart may have nursed. Eek! Balan brushed the brim of his hat. Oh, here they are. Scarecrow's farm vanished. It was down there! That was right. a different area. It was a slightly oh. different area. Whenever you feel like it. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah! One kill! Yay! <laughs> Bop. These guys are really uh, cute, actually. Do, do you need to have momentum ah. in order to actually damage the things? Kill! Kill! Damn it. Oh, <laughs> Violence has failed us. <laughs> oh, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You're you're going away. <laughs> I need to have momentum. Kill! 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 Why am I not sliding? No, that's oh, there you are. Wait, no! <laughs> I only have the one box fox. Which is why I'm careening off the edge! Oh, yeah! Box. The prophecy has been fulfilled! <laughs> Get box foxed! Hang on, wait, where's the. Uh. Fuck, uh. Whatever. It's like 20 seconds late, but fine. Yeah. Oh, you guys can't see it. I did, I did the Smash Brothers game thing. Ah. <laughs> Balan brushed the brim of his hat, and Scarecrow's farm vanished. The one that used to be Invisible Custodian. Oh, uh, Mush, do you want to, like, yeah. switch off on chapters? Oh, you want to read? Sure, I enjoy sure, it. Sure, go right ahead. The Ruins! The Ruins. <laughs> the one solemn temple was now a cacophony of movement. Did they expect five-year-olds to know what that word means? I don't think they expected five-year-olds to read this at all, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Well, could they have written it a little better if they weren't making it? <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's, like, I don't read light novels, but this just kind of puts me off of the the medium in general, because there's not enough time to actually explain, like, it's it feels like it's just kind of glossing over a lot of shit. Well, most light novels are not this. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, definitely not a great <laughs> first impression on light novels. <laughs> The once solemn temple was now a cacophony of movement, its floors and ceilings turning around like mechanical cogs. Like an auto Spooky. Scroller. Holy shit. If 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 Street beat Leo, his Christian name, did not tread <laughs> carefully, he could very well be crushed beneath one of the rotating stone pillars. Ruh -roh. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh -oh. This is just like Mario. He crept closer to get a better look at the pillars and was surprised to see not the lovely birds and flowers he feared had been caught in their gnashing gears, but crushed appliances and flattened cans, shredded magazine, and a whole bunch of other shit. These ruins are made of fossilized rubbish? Whoa! <laughs> I forgot how much I love your little ad libs, Quark. <laughs> <laughs> Some twinge of, inst of Alter Instinct made him leap back away from the pillar he was inspecting. Well, he had been distracted, a giant wall behind him had started closing in, like Indiana Jones. The invisible He'd come custodian a hair's is, The Invisible Custodian is the one that, uh, that... This is basically Tomb Raider, but, like, it's New York. <laughs> <laughs> Ex urban exploration, but Tomb Raider. This is what New York is like. This is just what New York is like. 
He'd come a and hair's breadth away. Odian is the old man who goes around collecting garbage off the streets and gets and mad. Nobody just... cares. Well, and nobody cares about all the hard work he puts into keeping the streets clean. The street beats clean. <laughs> the street beats clean. No one cares about my streets. volunteer work that I don't like advertise or anything. I'm sure that there's like some deeper emotional reason for it, but that's literally what Probably. it looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I also don't trust this novel to be able to clearly express what they were going for. <laughs> You'd come a hair's breadth away from being flattened like a pancake. Oh, I no. better not lose focus again. It didn't take long for him to figure out the way. Invisible custodians' illusion appeared to guide him. The invisible custodians' invisible ass. He followed the illusion through the ruins, dodging around or jumping over the ever-moving walls as he went. And if the deadly obstacle course wasn't making navigating the stage hard enough, Leo had to deal with dance lessons too, with endless swarm of men. <laughs> he lost count of the number of times he was nearly crushed while he was distracted with his own inner angst, fighting the negative. But whenever he tried to move with the stones, he would lose sight of the lurking negative and then find himself suddenly surrounded. It was were... a real bitch. This it novel was is, is vastly overestimating how difficult it is to, to navigate this stage. It was impossible trying to deal with both the negative and the moving stones at the same time, unless you have the reflexes of a seven-year-old. Guess or I should borrow a, a costume. Double jumper costume. Yeah. Guess Basically. I should borrow a costume from Invisible Custodian's imagination. Leo closed his eyes to concentrate. Okay. I think I get it. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe. The Invisible Man his and his Invisible again, Ass. He was wearing the Invisible Man's costume along with his Invisible Ass. At least <laughs> he, he gets a he complimentary he Invisible even ass. ass. Now he could slip past the negative without them noticing and focus on gathering drops. He made his way through the stage, slipping quietly past any negative he came across. At last, he found both heart trees. We are really speeding things up. <laughs> both of them in the same place. Wow. No, no, oh, no, man. no! Fuck, 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 fuck! Box. 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 Are you, Box. Box. Are you absolutely certain you have to use Foxbox for that? No. And with the Tim's help, he claimed the fragments of Invisible Ass's heart. <laughs> First was the piece that loved his town. <laughs> he claimed and the pieces the... of his invisible ass. <laughs> he claimed each cheek of his invisible <laughs> ass. <laughs> 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 First was the piece that loved this is his a town, dumb bit. <laughs> and second was the part of it that was forgiving. As he explored, Leo came to understand why Clock Tower Kid had said this stage was so like his own. Is it his? What? Yeah, oh. Leo's. Oh, oh Leo's. Leo's. Own. Okay. I thought they just misgendered Clock Tower Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Neither he nor Invisible Custodian had made any inhabitants, because they're loners, lone wolf, built different. Oh shit! Nice. Leo hadn't. Hey. Leo hadn't because he believed he didn't need anyone else around. Invisible Custodian hadn't because he hated humanity. <laughs> he I reject my humanity, Balam. <laughs> he all hated those <laughs> worthless sons of bitches who refused to acknowledge his hard work that he did every day. <laughs> no forgiveness, no I'm not mercy. Even, since I'm not reading along, I'm just assuming that like half of the things that Quark is saying are just in the novel, and it's way funnier that okay. way. <laughs> <laughs> but but actually, the, the way it's actually phrased in the book is, Invisible Custodian hadn't because he'd been unable to forgive. <laughs> Forgive what? <laughs> he what did they do to you? Those, those <laughs> damn assholes who didn't thank him profusely get prostrate before him on their hands and knees for <laughs> picking up some bottles now and then. <laughs> Leo did not know what Invisible Custodian's town in the real world was like or what the people there might have done to him. Fucking nothing! Literally they <laughs> nothing! They just <laughs> didn't notice! <laughs> Because yeah, Litter Mert killed my grandma, okay? I'm sorry I didn't notice a stranger picking up a bottle, oh my god! Maybe he but should he wear a fucking know. neon vest next time, Jesus! <laughs> he plays a 
loud ass boombox so people look at him <laughs> and see what he's doing. But he I'm did know that if Invisible it. Custodian had lost his ability to forget. Compassionless <laughs> volunteer. So fucking, this is so fucking dramatic for a guy who just volunteers to clean up the streets on the weekend. He, okay, to be clear though, he's not even like volunteering at like a volunteer organization. This is just a thing that he likes to do. I so know, if he likes like, to don't, do don't, it, then why is he asking for praise? I know, just, I mean, I guess I understand, like, even if it's something you want to do, I feel like having your efforts acknowledged and, like, Validated. acknowledged feels yeah. good. It's like, hey, mm -hmm. people care about what I'm doing. I'm making a difference. I'm doing something good. Like, on the other hand, <laughs> humans are pretty social, but also, like, Chill the fuck out, man. Maybe just yeah. join a volunteer organization so yeah, you have the validation just... right there. Yeah, you instead can talk of just to the being other a people. fucking lone wolf like a dickhead. <laughs> Is that where you was? I thought it was that he didn't like people who were littering in the first place. I think, I I think it's a combination of both, but the way that he's saying he's unable to forgive is just so fucking funny. <laughs> it, it, these people no sense of compassion from deeply. the homeless man. <laughs> Then it was going to be next to impossible to talk things out. God, what the fuck boss name is this guy gonna have? The two fragments in hand. Wait, wait, Leo hang on. I think on. I remember this one. I think I remember this one. This was like, hang on. I'm gonna check my, my Balan Wonderworld playlist because yes, I have the fucking soundtrack for this game downloaded. <laughs> uh, I just have it pulled up on YouTube, this background noise while we're, uh, while we're where reading. Is it? Leo ah, yes! Oh. Wait. I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I just I just looked at the name oh, and I no. saw what it was. It's so good. <laughs> oh, it's no. so good. No. <laughs> oh, no. When he arrived, there was no one there. It's like he was invisible or something. Still, <laughs> Leo knew better than to let his guard down. He closed his eyes for a while. Nothing happened. Leo and then lunged to the side. To not happen. <laughs> He was just Leo standing there with his eyes shut like an asshole. <laughs> he was sharpening his other senses. He was like a daredevil. true anime protagonist. Leo lunged to the side just as the stone he had been standing on exploded into bitch. It, into it, bitch. bitch, not bitch. Into what? You've <laughs> always been bitch, you invisible bitch. man. <laughs> always. <laughs> the ruined stone. <laughs> Scorched as if it had been struck by lightning. Leo turned to face it. I had a feeling you'd made yourself invisible too. <laughs> but th oh, this is uh, this is uh, Leo talking. This is, this is creepy Leo talking. Oh, okay. I had a feeling you'd made yourself invisible I, too. I, I, I do love the Shonen Pro Tag Leo me. voice. I can sense your movements. It's so good. <laughs> oh, that's hell on my throat. <laughs> As if enraged by his work. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's it's all for the the showmanship. <laughs> As if enraged by his words, the creature that had been invisible that had been invisible custodian finally showed himself. <laughs> yeah, Hooverton. <laughs> The best part is, the reason I know his name is Hooverton was because I remembered his soundtrack. Like, I, I have his, I have Hooverton's no, battle wait, music. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I just glanced down. This fight lasts less than one page. <laughs> You're right! Wow. <laughs> Truly embracing the light novel format. There, there. Maybe they would have better pacing if the first fucking half of the fucking novel hadn't been introducing everyone. Maybe they could have just made a regular length novel if they had so much to talk about. They didn't, is the thing? Yeah! Just fucking <laughs> cut out the useless <laughs> shit. Hey, it's fucking all the just rewrite the story so that he doesn't know uh, these guys beforehand, so and then bad. make exploring the dream space about learning who they are. That's what the game is. God, that's a, look, giving the game a bit credit, more credit than it deserves. I think you don't really learn much about the people until the cutscenes happen. That is true. God, he looks like a all character. all intros. <laughs> I decided to draw a grotesque mashup of a man and a vacuum cleaner. Hooverton. Half man, half vacuum cleaner. Half man, half <laughs> vacuum, all suck. 
He's gone from suck to blow! <laughs> His name came to Leo easily. Hooverton. Hooverton was easily ten times his <laughs> Easily <laughs> ten times his size! <laughs> easily ten Fucking times gigantic yeah. man! <laughs> yeah, you don't learn about the level until you've beaten it, exactly. Vanished from view, striking with his lightning attacks over and over. Leo spun and twisted gracefully out of the way. Why did I do that? Always just in time to avoid being smashed along with the stones. There! With his eyes shut tight, Leo could sense where Lance's mark was with his psychic powers. He jumped high into the air. Leo, Lance's in mark? I'm just imagining it like the fucking like glowing tat- like the, the glowing sigils from the Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, I'm picturing like like a shitty tattoo, like a stick and poke. <laughs> it, it's it's actually a um uh, what's it called a um uh the fruit roll ups tongue tattoo. <laughs> it's the shitty doodle of Lance's face. Come on, <laughs> he's a trans he step on his invisible ass. <laughs> yes, brought the big around. Around. He jumped high into the air, aimed in the mark's direction, and flung both fragments of Invisible Custodian's heart right at it. Hooverton reappeared with a great shriek. The ah! monster's form. <laughs> the monster's form crumbled open, revealing the original Invisible Custodian within. He sank to his knees, he hanging still his head though, forlorn. So we couldn't yeah, see yeah. him. He sank to his invisible knees, hanging his invisible head in invisible shame. <laughs> I, ne I never intended to hurt you. That's what they all say, gun. <laughs> I'm fine, see? I'm tough. Don't beat yourself up about it, man. But what was with the whole vacuum thing? You you went from suck to blow. I re <laughs> I remember everything. I remember who I really am. The town I'm from had a horrible litter problem. Just... It made me so sad to see my home choking in refuse. Again, so I, I know... would go out and clean it up. I know I've talked about the persona a bit again, but I'm just imagining this same scene playing with the I'll, I'll face myself piano version playing over <laughs> it, and it's so funny. But no matter how much garbage I picked up, I'd go back the next day and there'd be a whole new mountain of trash in the place I just tidied. Those damn kids would talk- I can't think what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kids would toss their trash on the street right in front of me, okay. even though they knew how hard I worked to try and keep the town clean. <laughs> I realized I wasn't making any difference. It was like no one even noticed I was there. I started wondering if maybe no one could even see me. Mr. Cellophane should have been <laughs> my man. <laughs> So that's why you turned into Hooverton. It is. And I remember as soon as I stopped forgiving those bastards in my town, that's when the Balan Theater appeared. The Balan. <laughs> the Balan. The Balan. As if summoned. Balan. As if summoned, Balan suddenly stood behind them. You are not the only one you know who cleaned up garbage come sun or snow. This world isn't all about you, buddy. Invisible Custodian shook his head. Balan. Perhaps, but Balan there are far more people scheme. who litter. Balan breaks rhyme scheme specifically to call the man a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> more than ever before! Leo Wait, hang on, was that Tim wearing a little fucking hat? It is! <laughs> He's got a little propeller hat! Oh, oh my god! Manual labor for child This goes Tim. so hard. <laughs> Leo kneeled machine. in front of the... <laughs> Leo kneeled in front of the despondent, hey. invisible... Oh. Oh. Despondent! Oh. Despondent <laughs> is a strong <laughs> word for a Bala and Wonderworld light novel. But you never let that stop you from picking up trash. That's pretty awesome. 
come on, I need someone as awesome as you, as totally awesome as you, to help clean up the mess Lance has made of Wonder World. Then we can go home, and I can do dance lessons again. And that Visible Wonder Custodian would go shook pretty his hard head. as a 90s anime. <laughs> <laughs> It would go hard as pretty much anything other than a video game, to be clear. God, I can't. I'm too tired from fighting a losing battle against Litter. <laughs> <laughs> in, that, in that moment, he awesome. looked even older and frailer to Leo than he ever had. He looked even so older even and with shittier. your heart repaired. To pick up some old bottles, you still are scared. <laughs> Bell inside, then set off walking. Leo scrambled to keep up. Well, no time to waste. Get going. Next stage. Get going. Make haste. <laughs> well, we're good that guy, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. I, Red 13's dressed as a I soldier. Can... That's delightful. <laughs> Wait, Quark. I don't uh, I can I keep up with those ad libs, but. <laughs> yeah. Quark, I don't know. Uh, I, I know you haven't. You don't look at the clips channel, but there's a very good clip from the Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth stream where. Uh, Cloud and the gang get chocobos, and uh, Saps happen to have Barrett and Red Thirteen in his party, like active following him. And in, in like the classic game, it's just Cloud walking around the overworld, so you only ever see Cloud riding the chocobo. And so you have the wonderful visual of Red Thirteen sitting upright on his hind <laughs> legs and using his paws like Scooby Doo trying to hold the reins to the chocobo. It looks God. so fucking funny. God. Red 13 is the at? He's like a weird dog lion machine. thing, I think. Yeah, okay. it, the mammal. Anyway. The red thing. The one who used to be Bugsy. <laughs> After what had happened with Scarecrow and Invisible Custodian, Leo was braced for Bugsy's stage to be totally different when he and Balan arrived. Right. I then, was going to was... go to the to match the stage of the chapter we're in, but I was already in World Three earlier, so I'm just gonna go to the world that has a costume that I need. Eh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who, who give a shit? I d I d who me? give a fuck of shit? <laughs> Everybody knows shit. Fuck. Even then, he was still caught off guard by just how much it had changed. The once sun dappled woods were now shrouded in midnight darkness. The only light came from some glowing mushrooms, and even that was barely enough to see their surroundings. I don't know, that stage was pretty bright. Mm -hmm. I forgot about this track and the Ghostbusters ass music. <laughs> the aroma Welcome shrooms back, were still Mario. there. They made Leo remember how cute Clock Tower Kid had been when she'd shown him why she called them that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Forgot about the whole stage game. You fool! Quick, get a key so you unlock the costume that replaces the need for keys. Yeah. Grab the key so I can get rid of it. <laughs> you. Without thinking, you leaned over to brush his fingers against one. It belched a cloud of toxic-looking purple spores. Oh made Leo god. sputter and gag. Uh -oh. oh my god. Stinky. Balan chortled. Oh dear, uh, it slipped my mind to warn you. Touching those aroma shrooms really ought not to do. That didn't happen at all in the game. There was literally no fucking side effect. Dagakato Tui! Dagakato Tui! Balan's bout theme is still the best track in the game. It's not even it's not even fucking it's, fair. Yeah, it's great. Experience really is the, the best side. teacher you see. Yeah. You have a lot of lessons to learn, but not from me, said God, Balan. He's fucking useless. <laughs> what, are, what are you even. What are you doing? Like, I like to imagine for? that every time that he's not just rhyming to them cryptically, he's doing this shit. <laughs> blowing up random rocks. Yeah. He's constantly fighting off Lance's negative energy and stopping the meteors from destroying all of Wonderworld. Because otherwise he's not doing anything. 
before you get tested on them! Yeah. <laughs> we all shot it after the man's vanishing form. This guy just fucking drags people into his fucking Shit. goofy ass dream world. Like his fucking psychedelic dream world and is like, okay, fix your problems and then gives you no method of doing it. Drags <laughs> they ass into mementos and fucking shoots them. <laughs> He's just like, okay, good luck, bye. And it does not help or do anything. Grumbling, Leo turned away to get his bearings. Now that he was getting a better look, he could see spider Leo everywhere. do all the work. <laughs> These were not the lovely webs from before that melted like snow under his touch. Don't dead the him. His name's straight B. Tough as wire right. to ensnare any invading enemy. What a great no trophy for you. Yeah, no, I was very upset. Hey. Leo was wondering Game how design. he was going to get through them when Bugsy's illusion appeared. All around her flitted the one insect that had never been on her stage before. Butterflies. I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened to her in the real world that made butterflies so significant. No, what? no, my double jumper! I have to try. No! I got more in mind, but still. Just a little bit annoying. The ones fluttering around the illusion were white, glowy little things that made Jesus it impossible Christ. to tell what kind they were. <laughs> Jump scare! Fuck, I hate this guy! <laughs> What's the deal? Bugsy's illusion had a terribly lonely expression on her face that Leo took to mean, in her heart of hearts, she wanted to be rescued. Then let me help you! Leo drew on Bugsy's imagination and donned a new costume. Web Wrangler, it was called. And every aspect looked inspired by the eight-legged silk weavers. That's not the one that... Is, I, all the ones he's used so far have been the ones that are, like, the analogous mm -hmm. to the character. Except for Web Weaver. Yeah, suddenly we got one of the other ones from the stage. Web Weaver's design is Hello. nice, too, though. Cute. I like its <laughs> the other silly yellow the... pants. Poofy. <laughs> <laughs> He took hold of one of the webs and tested his weight on it. The fat, thick strands held him up no problem. The wall that Bugsy had created to protect her stage from invaders was now Leo's way inside. He traveled quickly through the woods, locating the first heart tree. The Tim slammed into it, using their power to dispel the negative force field encircling the arbor. 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 I mean, I, it's, I guess it's, it's correct, but still, dumb very, word. Very odd vocabulary. They, it's got. almost like it's it was translated kids. from another language. Mm. That, that sounds to me like we've used tree about seven thousand times. They use a different word this time. Yeah, <laughs> this is. <laughs> let me let me let me consult my thesaurus real quick. <laughs> Thanks again, Leo said to the Tims, taking hold of the fragment of Bugsy's heart. As soon as he touched it, he knew this was the part of her that loved taking care of little creatures. Ah, that would be a hobby of hers. And it probably wasn't just any little creature, but butterflies in particular. But Bugsy had thrown this part of herself away and was cocooned in negativity. I gotta get this back to like a bug. Holy shit. Street Beat Leo made his way through the stage, fighting Negaty every it's step of the way. The deep thematic significance. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Where even do I need Illusion to push it again? Illusion helped him find the second heart tree, where he rescued the second fragment oh. of her heart. A strong part of her that did not care a single bit about what other people thought of her. Which means she started caring about what someone thought. But who? It's the way his tail jerks around that makes it so <laughs> bad for me. What do you mean? I, bought the, I bought the I bought the novel a couple of years ago, actually. I wish there was only for this purpose. He looks so tired. Okay. He had no idea how this was related to the part of her that loved caring for little creatures. Oh shit, it does! But he figured he'd find out when he found her. Thank you, Wow and M, for oh, being hey. the Balan Wonderworld expert around here. <laughs> Who would have thought that? Someone's gotta be. I'm, I'm, I'm just the hapless moron that plays the game. 
to claim myself as an try. expert would be, would be would be a fallacy. You're just a fan. <laughs> the casual Balan Wonderworld enjoyer. <laughs> casual Balan Wonderworld fan. Hey, I I haven't uploaded anything anything to the uh, to the leaderboards yet. Uh, so technically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You could try asking the illusion her, but something told him she wouldn't have any answers for him. I want him. to talk to Mario for old time's sake. I am in the <laughs> world for it. Maybe on the second one. <laughs> this is the same world. I'll do, I'll do it on 11-2, uh, because that's that, that, that the one where it actually happens. Uh, it wasn't much longer till he found where the real Bugsy had shut herself away. I wonder what Shed she transformed hot. into. Both Scarecrow and Invisible hey. Custodian had become warped by the darkness in their hearts. Leo thought of Clock Tower Kid's monstrous metamorphosis and felt a sad stab of sadness in his chest. Something made him look up at the a sky sad of stab as a huge, grotesque monster came swooping down. Ooh, nice. Not that it looked scary. like a butterfly, a spider, and praying mantis had all been rolled into one, a fearsome creature that was nothing like the timid girl Leo remembered. I can't believe that's really her! Her name had changed too, just like the others. This How monster could he tell? Was not pussy, he has no fucking but Wharton's word. <laughs> He's stupid ass thing! I love him! <laughs> oh, Bartholomew! <laughs> I really hope we get one that's that good. Like, not, they're all good, but god damn, Bartholomew! They started My off wrong. <laughs> This design kicks ass, actually. Look at this thing. Little frog guy. <laughs> kind of adorable. <laughs> he doesn't look like a sheep. Leo barely picked his jaw up off the ground in time to avoid her merciless attacks. Her raptorial forelegs stabbed down at him, but his dance training meant he could spin away from her faster than she could strike. I love how he persistently brings up his dance training. <laughs> you know, I... I, I'm not like a professional dancer or anything, but I feel like this isn't what dance training does. No, not <laughs> even a little bit. Eventually, the monster seemed to realize these attacks were not getting her anywhere, so she backed away and sat stock still. Thinking Wormsworth could no longer reach him from there, Leo relaxed a bit. He knew who she was at her core under all that monster, a sweet, gentle girl who'd never hurt a fly. It was oh, a that mistake is true. till I, I discovered do, I down. Do, I do need to update the ticker text. Oh, yeah. He yelped in shock as her sickle like forearms detached themselves from her body and flew straight at him like sharp, spiky boomerangs. Oh, no. They tore great gashes through his costume. Should have known better. Names in Wonderworld, he realized, denoted a person or thing's true nature. The thing he was fighting wasn't the shy, gentle girl he knew. I can't even feel a flicker of her in there. Also, note that note how they haven't mentioned either way what happened to the where he's still wearing the costume after getting hit once. Yeah. <laughs> Leo inched closer and closer to her as they fought, closing the distance with every move. At last, he saw his chance and shot the fragments of Bugsy's heart into Lance's mark. Wormsworth's shriek pierced the air. Leo clapped his hands over his ears and squeezed his eyes shut. When he opened them again, he saw Bugsy turn to her human form. She stood with her back to him. He made his way over to try and talk to her, but she turned her face away. Don't look at me. I can't believe I turned into something so... so awful. That wasn't really you, Bugsy. Don't be ashamed. His encouragement did not seem to reach her. She hung her head. I'm really sorry. Seriously, you don't have to apologize for being manipulated by your negativity. But I was wondering, I forgot why'd about you this go costume. into the Balan Theater in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> slow ass rocket. Dear God, everything about this thing is slow. <laughs> Oops, and... that's the end. <laughs> also, I can't move left and right while I'm ascending. Not. God. That that would be too complicated. Like, how how would you be able to control going up and in a direction at the same time? Only one. You can't expect kids to be able to wrap their heads around that. 
I fucking love this thing, though. It's kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, at this game. <laughs> All the Make shit costumes are the funniest ones. Mm -hmm. We were studying, studying butterflies at school, so I brought in some caterpillars that I'd found around my neighborhood. All of my classmates thought they were gross, but they helped me look after them. First, anyway. A couple of them stopped helping, until eventually, it was just me. It's not like caterpillars are my favorite thing in the whole world, but without me taking care of them, they'd die. That's rough! So, I had no choice but to look after them. There was a bunch of different kinds, but the one that gave me the most trouble was the lantern for two... Artillery. No lantern. That's that species lantern lives high artillery. And can only eat mugwort, which didn't grow anywhere near where I lived. I had to wake up before dawn and head way out of town to find it. Because I worked so, so why did you bring it into in the first place? That is a good question. Where did you get this thing that you told <laughs> that there's no readily available food source for it? You know, Amazon. So hard to take care of <laughs> my classmates started calling me horrible things like caterpillar nerd behind my back. Caterpillar nerd. <laughs> I hated I can't it. think of a worse thing to be called. I didn't care what happened to the caterpillars anymore. No! That's when I came across the Balan Theater. That explained why she had gotten rid of the parts of herself that loved little creatures no longer cared what anyone else thought. La creature. <laughs> You're incredible, Dios said mio. Street Beat Leo. Bugsy shook her head. Feet. No, I'm not. I don't want to take care of those dumb caterpillars anymore. I'm not like other girls. Ever again. <clears throat> she remembered how there hadn't been any other people on her stage when they first met. That's she been the case for everyone. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe she couldn't stand the sight of anyone except the friends she'd made in Wonderworld. The wriggling thing that was coming to eat you, said Leo, the pieces clicking together in his mind. That must have been the lantern caterpillar you'd been taking care of. Clearly. You must have been so worried about it getting food that you started seeing it in your vision. He placed a hand on her shoulder. Help me take down the ah, fuck. Then we can leave Wonderworld, and you can get back to raising your butterflies. The Bugsy things that you apparently head. don't care about anymore. Then Balan was there beside Leo, sighing. She can't help us on our mission. Not in this condition. The one that used to be Checkered King. Oh god, this fucking guy. Oh, yeah, this oh is gonna boy. Be We're gonna do the and... same thing. Oh, eight eight more this times. one. This one. Yes. Oh. Yes, by the way. I know, I know a bit of the game. This, this is great. Hey, guess what? We're halfway through. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, Look at that, 50%. Baby. Page 111 out of 190, that's way more than half. Shows how much you know. Why do they just randomly call him Street Beat Leo before going back to Leo <laughs> for like <laughs> five it's pages? so dumb. It's so dumb. They you that they gave him the stupid ass name. They're proud of it. Balan and Street Beat Dash Leo arrived on Checkered King's stage in what looked like a marketplace. Though the merchants and the artisans and frolicking children from before were nowhere in sight. We're children! We're children! <laughs> we're children! The road out of children! That'll be four bucks, baby! The road out of the market led up and was warped in strange looping Sonic style curves. Weird! <laughs> But Leo followed the road with his eyes, and also his hands, and all other parts of his body, and saw it led to the castle. The Checkered King staged him and twisted into some sort of sphere, with Leo and Balan standing on the inside of the curve. Oh, Leo no, looked down no. at his the, the dancing feet. God. Instead of the grey stones he remembered from his last visit, the roads were covered in alternating squares of white marble and black granite, like a chessboard or something. It's like we're- Shit! <laughs> it's like we're on a giant- Well, 
a giant chessboard. Whoa, what are we, some kind like of suicide squad? Holy it's shit, it's like this guy played chess or something. Unsurprising considering your foe's name. Get your head in the game, muttered Balan. Good luck, little <laughs> one, playing his game. <laughs> the same rhyme. <laughs> Fuck off, Balan. I'm better than you. And with that, Checkers Balan champ. disappeared. Checkers champ. No shit, kid. <laughs> Don't flip your lid. Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> Leo made his way into the castle. Just like before, there was a tournament being held in the garden, but the jousters had transformed into knight chess pieces, and the soldiers had all turned into pawns. Leo wondered what sort of chess-related incident. <laughs> <laughs> Subtlety! Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Chess-related incident is just such a funny phrase! <laughs> Freak chess-related accident. Stick a bitch up his ass! What sort of ch- up his ass! Oh, up fuck! His ass. God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! Chess related This video game sucks! <laughs> you did <too. laughs> And happened to checkered king in the real world to leave such deep chess related Because chess killed my wife! <laughs> And what does that golden chalice he saw in his vision have to do? <laughs> Take a drink of water. A golden chalice? That's clearly. <laughs> I just got Fallon kicked in the dick and into the stratosphere. Good. <laughs> he doesn't know what a trophy is. He's never won any. <laughs> For as much as he'd like wax is poetic about his dancing. His ability, wife cheated on of, him with the rope. He's kind of mid. <laughs> 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 If you fail through the bout just ends, I love that. It just smash cuts to the to back to the stage. That's the best part. God. Anytime I miss one of the prompts, I immediately start mashing to fuck up the rest of them so that I can get that fail thing. But <laughs> here I didn't because I didn't have enough time, so I was just like, man, fuck it. He knew it wasn't any use to speculate. If we're playing chess, then I guess that makes me the opposing king. Leo shouted at the castle. I'm playing checkers. Eyes. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> don't flatter yourself, Creepy Bill. You're a knight at best. <laughs> God. When he opened them, he had donned a costume that looked like a white king chess piece. Quad cannon. That fucking thing. Oh, oh my god, the Veggie Tales hop. <laughs> he knew how to use it at once. All he had to do was Veggie Tales hop. All he had to do was focus his willpower to summon the cannons around him. One each in front and behind, one each to his left and right, then aim and fire. He tested it out on some negati that attacked him with great success. This feels less like the way the king fights and more like a rook. That's because the king doesn't fight, buddy. Doesn't that one just work if you stand still and do nothing? Yep. He wondered about that as he... <laughs> he wondered about that as he hopped, as he <laughs> vegetal hopped across the black and white tiles on the road. I'm glad that they don't shy away from the fact that you literally have no other way to move. Great. God, suddenly, a white knight piece appeared out of fucking nowhere, lunging right at him. Pretty sure it's against the rules for pieces to attack their own king! Shouted Leo to the sky, even knowing it was pointless. This was Checkered King stage, after all. The only rules here were the ones he made. Inside the castle, Leo found the heart trees and got the heart fragments out of them with those damn birds' help. The first one he obtained was part of the Checkered King that. that, King that, that bunny. Holy shit, epic! Was the part of Checkered King that cherished life. And the part, and then the part that was forgiving of himself. So what? He doesn't think life is worth it now. And what can he forgive it, himself it, for? What chess-related incident? That I've that hmm. Leo had no idea what these chess-related heart fragments meant to Checkered King. But now that he had found them, the only thing he could do was press onward, heading deeper into the chess-related castle, where he knew he would find the chess-related king. <laughs> Sorry, it's such a funny phrase. Chess-related. Leo, 
chess related incident. <laughs> Leo stopped and looked around. He had come to a giant chessboard the size of a soccer field. Whatever, her checkered king definitely has something to do with chess. I'm no. a genius. <laughs> really? I figured that out all on my own. With my big I'm anime wondering... boy brain. A fun... Shit. Okay. A thunderous roar rose around him as a giant monster appeared. A giant chess <laughs> monster. One that shaped like a chess king. It was. It was this thing. King. It was this fucking guy. <laughs> it was Checkered King, or Hadband. The story started looking like the return of Jafar. He was now so. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I said his name! Hang on, let me see what his name is. Oh yeah! <laughs> he was now so huge. He could barely fit onto the chessboard. So you're going by Forged for the Fourth. Now, huh? <laughs> Forged for the Fourth. Forged the Fourth. Forged the Fourth. No! Shit! Or... Right. Or... Or... Hey. Hey. Ordered the chess pieces to a test! Or the four. Or <laughs> All of the... White and black bull charged right at Leo. That's definitely against the rules! He shouted. But Checkered King didn't fucking give this. a shit. It's his board, baby. His attacks were relentless, and his sharp wit meant he could read Leo's every move, every dance move. Just my your okay, thing, said Leo, spotting a brain. Shoot <laughs> the enemy's ring, but dance. <laughs> yeah, no, the boss is super cool looking, but I actually, this is one of my least favorite bosses out of the bunch, just because of the inconvenient uh -huh. costumes that they give you for it. Uh huh. And he spun, flinging the heart fragments and he spun. at the monster. <laughs> With a great groan, the monster shrank and transformed back into the checkered king Leo knew. The king sat with, with his arms around his legs on the chessboard. Leo walked over and crouched in front of him. Why chess? Checkered King looked deflated as he answered, I was the world champion. Seriously? And That's then my incredible! Wife died. And then my wife left me, because all I thought about was chess. <laughs> the king pursed his lips. I was something of a prodigy when I was younger. Yeah, I'm something For of a over a myself. decade, I was the reigning champion. They said I was untouchable. I was the best at chess. And then I found a wonderful chess-related wife to marry. <laughs> Everything was perfect. <laughs> so perfect, I didn't even realize it at the time. Then one day, this kid of about 20 turned up. And suddenly, my hold on the title of champion wasn't as secure as it had been. She married the queen, but she got captured. Uh, <laughs> delightful. <clears throat> he was pulling it right out from under me. Maybe my confidence was shaken. Maybe I just wasn't as sharp as I had been. Either way, I couldn't seem to win. My rank kept getting lower and lower until I was playing against goddamn teenagers. Fucking teenagers! I hate teenagers. Look better Sorry. than me. I hate teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, it's motion sickness time. I remember one match against a 14-year-old boy. He moved his queen to a position that confused me a great deal. For if she were lost, his king would be left vulnerable. No matter how you looked at the board, it seemed like he was handing me victory on a silver platter. But my intuition... 
was telling me I was going to lose. Wait! No! <laughs> keep, keep going, keep going. I looked at the boy's face <clears throat> and saw he was smiling ever so faintly. I Fuck you, made Balan. my moves oh. all pretty standard. On the third move, I finally realized what he was playing at, but there was nothing I could do to stop it. I lost and sank into a deep chess-related despair. Checkered King's face scrunched up as if he was in pain. <clears throat> but I wallowed so much in my own self-pity that I never even noticed the sickness quietly ravaging my wife's body until it was too late. Where the fuck was this in the game? His wife. Because just killed my wife, Tails. <laughs> oh, wasn't this in the game at all? This looks like a little angry bitch because he got someone won against him. Long dramatic sigh. I miss my wife, Leo. I miss her a lot. Uh, I miss my wife, Street Leo. <laughs> I miss her a lot. I lost I'll the love back. of my life because I couldn't <laughs> see anything beyond my own selfish desire to be the chess champion again. I threw everything away. All of my chess sets. All my chess-related medals and trophies. All of it. All of it. <clears throat> Leo started at the mention of awards. The golden chalice in your vision? Was that the holy grail? One of the trophies you'd run? I yes to suppose both. it must have been. Perhaps throwing them away didn't completely rid me of all sentiment. After I got rid of them, I had nothing. I would wander the streets for hours at a time. <laughs> Truly chess-related trauma here. <laughs> Rough when you have a chess related incident. Me when I have a chess related incident. God, that's when I the balance chess theater appeared incident. before <laughs> That's when the Balan theater appeared before me. Leo reached out a hand to Checkered King, but then the queen appeared, standing between them. She was not shaped like a chess piece, but like the beautiful woman she had been when Leo first Checker King was shaking his head. <clears throat> Just made him wifeless and homeless. God, <laughs> devastating. <laughs> Checkered King was shaking his head. I know you seek to defeat Lance, but I cannot help you. He looked at his queen. <laughs> Sorry. I hate that. I, I hate, hate that phrase. Me. <laughs> you dropped this, King. <laughs> Every king needs his queen. <clears throat> my heart may have created her, but she is my wife. I have no intention of relinquishing my stage. That is not your real... <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> Get over yourself, bitch! That's not your real wife. That is not your real wife. That is a fake wife you made the fuck up. She will never kiss you like your real wife did. She's but a lie you've constructed to ease your strife. Balan spoke the harsh truth. Leo couldn't bring himself to vocalize. <laughs> that is not your wife, said Balan. <laughs> that powerful. is not your beautiful wife. This is not your beautiful house. <laughs> My god. How did I get here? <laughs> you may ask yourself. <laughs> Me, whenever I'm playing this game. My god, how did I get here? <laughs> but Checkered King only hugged his queen <laughs> pressing his face against her queenly chest. She is the only thing I have left. Leave me be. Just leave me be. Just leave Leo me may be. have returned the fragment. Checkered King <laughs> fired lasers from his eyes. <laughs> Leo may have returned the fragments of his heart, but it seemed like Checkered King had a long way to go before he was truly healed and could find a new wife.
Knowing nothing he said now would get through to him, Leo turned his focus to helping the others. <laughs> Chess killed my wife, Valen. <laughs> Chess related incident. <laughs> <laughs> Tragic chess related incident. <laughs> I can't. I, this is one of. The, this is the novel of all time. The, the, <clears throat> the one that used to be Madam of the Mansion. <clears throat> chess kills my wife, Tails. I'm gonna be right back to get some water. I keep okay, so I keep combining <laughs> two different memes. One is because singing killed my grandma, okay, and the other mm -hmm. is I miss my wife tales because there was a video mm -hmm. from Shay Frilla's where he uh, where he did an edit from singing uh, from uh, he was talking about sing two or something. Uh, one of one of the Illumination movies, but it was, mm -hmm. but they just mashed those two together because singing killed my wife tales, and it was unreasonably <laughs> funny to me. And it's just that's just, that's just stuck with me for fucking days on end since I rewatched that video. <coughs> All right. Yep. I I, imag I imagine it was a review of trolls because that's oh, where singing killed my grandma came yeah, from. Yeah, it, it was the review of every Illumination movie. Because um, sing to ah. like because it, it was Despicable Me was the top one, and then Sing to was like actually kind of okay. And then the rest was just fucking rock bottom. Uh, Fucks me up that they, de that they debuted the studio with an actually good movie and then have never even once come close to that. Yep. Mm hmm. Fallon brushed his fingers against the brim of his top hat. In the time it took for Street Beat Leo to blink, Fallon had transported them to a strange room. I. I said I wanted to go to Madam of the Mansion stage next, Balan. Indeed you did. Balan spread his hands. I have done as you bid. <clears throat> Leo took another look at their surroundings. If he squinted, he could just make out the resemblance to the Grand Mansion, Madam of the oh Mansion. My god. <laughs> oh my god! Look at this shit! The classic bowling scenario. Seven, ten, person seven. hasn't had this happen to them. I hate this fucking video game, dude. The mini games are the worst. Mm hmm. But the lavish console tables with their vases and ornaments were gone, as were the extravagant tapestries and the plush furniture. The only things Leo could see were giant tubes of pigment and all sorts of brushes lying around the place, like oversized objets d'art. And the painting on the wall. I'm glad that you got that because I never would have said that right. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of rusty, so I I definitely didn't say it right. Closer but, than like, I would have. <clears throat> this can't be the same mansion. The hallways were a jumble of 90 and 100 degree, 180 degree angles. That's a line. This way and that. That's a line, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> While dozens of staircases crisped and crossed, some leading nowhere, others jutting right into the ceiling. There's no way out of here. Perhaps not, or maybe so. You might yet discover something useful, you know. At that, you haven't balance, fucking looked around yet, again. dumbass. That's what he's saying to him. Leo looked around. Something useful, huh? His roving eyes stopped on a huge mirror. There hadn't been a single mirror in the mansion last time he'd been here. That was when he remembered Clock Tower Kid pulling out a little mirror from her pocket, frantically checking her turquoise hair before they went inside. She knew there weren't any mirrors in the mansion, and that she couldn't take out hers around Mad of the mansion. And but why is why that important? Mirrors? Leo Why jerked as he noticed something strange. The reflection! He stood in front of the mirror, looking at the backwards reflection of the room. Slowly, he reached his hand out to touch it. His fingers contacted the glass surface, and then sank into it. There's a room on the other side! <clears throat> Leo steeled himself, 
and then step all the way through. The room he stepped into was the flip and inverted version of the one he'd just come from. In the mirror, the staircase that had hung down from the ceiling now ascended from the ground, and the warped hallways now formed a path forward. Madame of the Mansion's illusion appeared, guiding him through the stage. But even with her leading the way, the floors and ceilings and hallways and staircases twisted and turned in such a surreal fashion, Leo describing felt certain the, he was going to get lost. I think describing the NPC for the stage uh, as guiding is a little generous. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Stalking is a more accurate Welcome back. feel. Welcome back. Thanks. I also got some cookies. Ooh. Hell yeah. Hey. After some time making his way through the mansion, Leo finally found a heart tree tucked inside a room that seemed made for hiding things. The Tims helped him get the heart fragment the same way they always did. I, I, how? We don't know, <laughs> but they did. Clue, are you a masochist? Are you in denial like Markiplier? What, what specifically about Markiplier being in denial? About being a masochist. Okay, I, yeah, jury's out on that one. <laughs> the first piece was Madame of the Mansion's confidence in her appearance. Is that why there weren't any mirrors before? Because she can't stand to look at herself anymore? After a while, he found the second fragment of Madame of the Mansion's heart, the part that accepted herself just the way she was. Leo tilted his head, confused. Up until now, the heart fragments the others had discarded when they'd succumbed to their negativity and turn into monsters had something to do with something they cherished, but had ultimately hurt them. The madam of the mansion that had invited Leo inside her mansion... Why do they always phrase it like that? Like, they, they, they say her name in full and oh then mention God. mansion afterward. <laughs> That's too many mansions in one sentence. Writing! Uh, that had invited Leo inside her mansion had been bright and bubbly, maybe a little bit too much the way she fussed and spoke without hardly pausing for breath. She had accepted herself just the way she was, and yet, in doing so, had hurt herself that enough for the balance to appear? You can't really know what's inside a person's heart from what they show you on the surface. The illusion madam of the mansion was pointing the way again. He followed her to a ravine that was so deep, he couldn't make out the bottom when he peered over its edge. That's it me clipping out of more. bounds. <laughs> <laughs> It sensed Madam of the Mansion on the other side. If he wanted to get to her, he would have to find a way across. Something told him this ravine had been born of the darkness at the heart. Leo drew on the power of her stage for help. When he opened his eyes, he saw he was wearing a costume called X-Ray Ape. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a really shitty NFT series. Like, uh, yeah. exceptionally shitty. Yeah, gotta be some kind of ape. These, these guys all have an obsession with apes. For some fucking reason. May have looked like a comical rendition of a Tarzir, but it came with some serious power. It doesn't. Tarzir. It doesn't, to be clear. X-Ray Ape does not do shit. <laughs> Leo could see a handful of creatures floating in what he had taken to be empty space above the ravine. He realized this costume let him see things that were otherwise invisible to his naked eyes. Right, right. <clears throat> he leapt from bridge to bridge, then stopped. He sensed a strange presence. Some sort of goo was dripping onto the bridge in front of him. The wooden planks it plopped onto started to smoke and melt away, like pieces of cheese over an open plane. Fucking end. Cheese! <laughs> cheese! Leo startled back, then glanced up. What is that? A grotesque monster floated in the air above him. Inkabel. 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 Not, like not, not as good as one for character. <laughs> it looked vaguely like an octopus, except it had way more than eight tentacles, each of which gripped a giant paintbrush dripping the bridge-melting goo. Leo remembered the paints and brushes he'd seen inside the transformed mansion earlier. Was Madame of the Mansion an artist in the real world? The monster didn't give him time to attack, though he doubted she would have answered. She 
she swiped her paintbrushes at him, filling the air with a downpour of goo. Leo dodged back out of the way, keeping his eyes fixed on the monster. At this rate, there weren't going to be any bridges left to stand on. The monster slowly advanced on him, seeming to realize she wasn't getting anywhere trying to paint him out of existence. <clears throat> Sounds more like Epic Mickey at this point. Yeah. <laughs> right where I want you. From that height, Leo figured he could get in, a, get in an attack or two of his own, but it was not that easy. Hey, the bridge planes are starting to Wait a second, I just noticed something. This thing has a fucking floating hat. In both its portrait and its model. Oh, no. so oh. it does. So that is an intentional design element. That's so bizarre. Also, hey, Duck, how's it going? The bridge planks were starting to fade, no matter how hard Leo stared at them. X-Ray Ape's power wasn't going to keep them visible for much longer. He only had the ability to see through things because he'd borrowed it from Madame of the Mansion's stage. He would have turned to flee, but it was too late. The bridges disappeared. Leo couldn't tell where it was safe to step and where it was simply air. He couldn't move. He was trapped in place under a merciless deluge of goo. goo. Then he realized goo. he didn't need to see the bridges themselves. They might have been invisible to him now, but he could still see signs of the goo sizzling them away. Goo. Where there was smoke, there must be planks. Where there was smoke, there's fire. <clears throat> So much for painting me into a corner, madam of the mansion! Shut the fuck up. Grinning, Leo leapt from bridge to bridge, trying to locate Lance's mark on Inkabel. He found it, just as she swiped one of her paintbrushes at him, and hurled the fragments right at it. Inkabel gave a shriek of anguish as she started to shriek, until nothing was left of her but madam of the mansion. She was back to normal, but she glared at Leo accusingly. Why are you trying to destroy my stage? She asked in a tearful voice. Because... Because this isn't where we belong. This isn't our home. It's not real. Real? What's that even mean? She was shaking all over. Didn't know there was a book? There's barely a book. <laughs> so it was only natural I became an artist. Then someone had to go and award me some... Big fancy prize! How dare they recognize my achievement! <laughs> Leo was confused. Isn't that normally a good thing? There was nothing good about it! After that, everyone started judging the value of everything I painted. I couldn't put colors on a palette without wondering how the finished product would be received. The only things I could paint were copies of pieces I already knew were popular. And then pieces, and then copies of those copies. Until one day, I realized I had no idea what I really wanted to. Artists in the audience, I really is this true? needed to paint. But everyone was waiting for my next masterpiece. I found myself forced to work on it. I pushed myself to hard, and in the, the end, took a big brush and painted over the entire canvas in black. I painted 13 canvases in nothing but black when the Balan Theater appeared. This place was supposed to be my refuge from the agony of painting. Madame of the Mansion was sobbing. Tell me, if you're so smart, what is real? Leo didn't have an answer. I fucking hate that line. <laughs> Hypocrites that you are, for you trust the chemicals in your brain to tell you that they are chemicals. <laughs> Leo didn't have an answer. He was casting around for a response when Balan reappeared. All those fancy things have vanished, and only mirrors remain. Mirrors that weren't here before, they brought you so much pain. What could that be but a symbol of the love for yourself you feel? Deep down inside, you still want to paint. Isn't that feeling real? <laughs> that is not your real life. Balan just Wait, appears what? with a like a like a line already in his head, and he's just like, ah, yes, I got this one. Emboldened by Balan's words, words, Leo took Balan's wonder, wonder, <laughs> wonder words. Balan wonder words. That's the typing spinoff. Help me fight Lance, and then you can go back home and paint what you want to paint. Madame of the Mansion shoved Leo away from her. 
I'm not going Leo anywhere. into a locker. <laughs> this stage, this is my home. She wailed through her tears. There was nothing else she could say to her. Well, let me take a little sippy. <laughs> Gotta get my throat lubed up. <laughs> Before I start talking like a Shonen Pro Tag. <laughs> the one that used to be Seagazer. Street Beat Leo. Oh, yes, in I get to go and his grind name. for more uh, double jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Street Beat Leo stood in the carpet of bindweed. Excuse me. Where Seagazer had sat and stared out at the ocean. This had been a beach the last time he'd been here. He remembered playing with Clock Tower Kid and the others in the waves. But now the water had receded so much he could barely see it, and in front of him towered a giant stone structure. Good god. Fucking throat. Chill. An aquatic shrine? Did she yeah, build that to protect her stage? Her stage? No. Stage? stage. Balan shook his head. No, little one. That's been there from the start. Just like Skygazer and Cetacean Island, Seagazer asked Blance for this <laughs> part. <clears throat> but she never even went into the water. In that respect, Sea and Skygazer really are two of a kind. That's why they have similar naming schemes. They each wanted somewhere they couldn't reach designed. But while Lance may have created the shrine by the shore, remember this stage is hers at its core. Balan vanished, leaving Leo alone to puzzle over the bullshit he just spouted. <laughs> he said ba Balan's a really the... good character design, and I love it. But he's just kind of trapped in this game. Mm -hmm. Balan has such and a good design, and everything and else about him is kind of shit. In the book. He's, he's just such an infuriating character. <laughs> yeah. He just fucking sucks. I love him. He set off across he's, the dry seabed. He is my scrimblo. <laughs> my scr Up close, the aquatic shrine was beautiful. Oh my god, that's right. It was right. covered in this colorful what coral the and oddly does. shaped shellfish. Unless you see drops and shit through the wall, that's why I could see the map. Where was I? There it is. Uh, but the walls around it were so tall, Leo couldn't see a way inside. Now fucking what? He wandered around the perimeter and discovered a couple pillars made of water. Atop I one of those, right Seagazer's back. illusion stood beckoning. You want me to swim inside them? I can't swim. I can only dance. Leo shut his eyes, and when dance he opened- in the water? <laughs> Leo shut his eyes, and when he opened them again, he was wearing a finned costume. What am I now? Some sort of... fish? He flapped his tail fin back and forth. No. Not a fish. Sippy. <laughs> the name of the costume came to him. Dynamic Dolphin. Right then. Here goes! Timidly, Leo eased himself into the water pillar. It was hard going at first, figuring out how to use his tail fin to move around. But once yeah, he got the, the hang of it, he, he sped through the water with joyful ease. Should be a piece of cake swimming up over the shrine walls now. Columns of water were no protection against anyone who could swim. Huge if true. But Seagazer would have thought otherwise. This would have been an impenetrable obstacle for her. If she'd ever even wanted to try to get in, Seagazer had only ever stared at the ocean, hence the name Seagazer. That's when it hit him. It's because of dolphins that she doesn't swim. That terrifying sea creature that was trying to kill in her... <laughs> That terrifying sea creature that was trying to kill her in her visions. It must have been a dolphin. Yes. Dolphins are just kind of like that, if I'm honest. <laughs> they, they, they... But that really... <laughs> one, of the most, one of the most noteworthy bits of... Uh, one of my favorite bits from Animorphs is 
there's a part where there's this super terrifying race of uh, creatures that have a reputation for being some of the most violent and destructive uh, creatures that they ever uh, that that ever existed in like the scout. Yeah, and when the protagonists finally like get close to one enough and are able to like like uh, uh, get a sample so that they can transform into it, they transform into it. And they, there's a part of their brain that is also affected by that. And so when they were playing, and they they compared the, uh, being that creature to playing as a dolphin. Because to those creatures, everything is just, it's basically like they're playing. Which is horrifying. But also really compelling as yep. a... Every, everything's just a game to them. And they have no concept that other living creatures are actually alive. Yeah, and that they are murdering. They're deliberately engineered that way, if I memory serves. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's... Animorphs is fucking good. We should be reading Animorphs right now. <laughs> what if we do an Animorph bullshit. reading stream? Only if I get to play the shitty Animorphs PS1 game at the same time. Oh, no. Okay, of course, of course. <laughs> I would never stop you from playing a shitty game, Clue. <laughs> but that realization alone didn't tell him her whole story. I'll find out more when I find the fragments of her heart. <clears throat> God, my fucking throat. God, Street Beat Lyra is so inconsiderate. <laughs> Whether Seagazer had thought the walls and water pillars would be enough to keep Leo out, or whether she was just so kind, even when consumed by negativity that she didn't want to hurt anyone, he didn't know. Either way, there were hardly any traps or dangerous obstacles that posed serious risk of harm. But there were still plenty of negativity. Excuse That's, me, golly. That is and lots of not the case. Leo. <laughs> this stage is probably one of the ones that has some of the most obstacles for the, the part of the game that you're playing it. Well, they're just fucking lying, okay? Yeah, they really are. <laughs> and lots of new types Leo had never seen before. He kept his guard up, fending off attack after attack as he made his way through the shrine, looking for the heart trees, here trees. When he found them, the Tims rammed through the negative barriers so he Ram. could get the fragments. The first one he found was the part of Seagazer that loved the ocean. Weird that someone named Seagazer get would bleh. Words are hard. Yeah. Weird that someone. Hey. <laughs> Weird Maybe that has someone. Something to do with that funny voice of yours. <laughs> 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 it's delightful. Please keep it up. Weird that someone named Seagazer would get rid of the love for the things he spends all our time looking at. What must have happened to her in the real world? I mean, besides the dolphin trying to kill her. Leo kept going. He came to a garden where some ocean left behind from the recently receded tide spilled over this the shrine walls into a pond. That I've stopped and really looked at one of these stone statues. Oh, oh my god, look at that thing. <laughs> dolphin. <laughs> behind the yeah, waterfall. The he side, did... but when you look at it from the front. <laughs> Goofy ass thing. Yeah. Behind the waterfall, yeah. he discovered a hidden passage that led to the second heart tree. This fragment was Seagazer's tenaciousness from in the face eyes. of Steely. <laughs> Though, she must have messed up somehow with something to do with dolphins. Messed up bad enough that she couldn't swim anymore, that she couldn't even stand the oceans she used to love. I wonder what sort of monster she turned into. Probably something dolphin-like or something. She doesn't. She turns into a jellyfish. I still don't oh, understand okay. it. Oh, okay. Why not? Judging from the other monsters he'd faced, Leo figured there was a good chance he'd turned into the thing that terrified her most. A jellyfish, apparently. Uh, <laughs> he kept going until he came to the heart of the shine. There he found Seagazer, who wasn't Seagazer anymore, but Angelica. That's cute, actually. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. That's cute. That That's cute and acceptable, and therefore not as good as Fort Stuffer. Yeah. Fort Stuffer <laughs> the Fourth and Bartholomew. Uh, click? Yes. Yeah. She was the most atrocious looking dolphin Leo had ever seen, in part because of the fact that she was a jellyfish instead. Gnashing a mawful of jumbled teeth at him in challenge. How can that? 
<laughs> that thang, the sea gazer. <laughs> that motherfucking thang. That thang dove right at him. Leo dodged her attack thanks to his epic dance skills, and as they fought, he began to realize something. All the other monsters he'd fought had disgusted him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but he felt wow. more than that facing Angelica. He felt fascinated by her. Why is. Why what are we doing something like this, this now? Leo. Leo, I'm just you... fascinated by her. I am very curious. I want in to your analyze taste, Leo. her. <laughs> She's about to kill me, but I'm just fascinated by her. Monster fucking. The more he Leo. thought about. <laughs> <laughs> the more he thought about it, the more he realized he had felt that about the others too, but just Should hadn't noticed at the time. Sea gazer! He shouted, even knowing it was useless. It's me! Street! <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna get enough of that. Street. It's never enough. Unsurprisingly, unsurprisingly, Angelica responded with another attack, spewing forth a school of electric jellyfish. So you were scared of these too, huh? <clears throat> Making sure to keep his distance from the shocking jellies, Leo worked his way closer to the monster. The instant he caught sight of Lance's mark, he shoved Shigazer's heart fragments into it. What are you doing over there? Boing, boing, boing. Okay, have fun. <laughs> I'm trying to get Angelica's a couple more face contorted in agony as she shrunk and transformed back into Shigazer. Leo splashed closer, then stopped, glancing splashed down. Closer. Of any verb Splash. they could have chosen. <laughs> there was seawater up to his stuff. ankles. The tide's going back in! We have to get to the beach! He grabs Seagazer by the hand, and together they flood the aquatic shrine. The waves Took chasing the close hand, behind. The yeah. Ocean may. <laughs> Is there anything they that, made it that back uh, to the... Itzy can do in this stage particularly before I leave? Because I am fascinated to see what it... Uh... Actually, you know what I should probably do first? I should probably... Uh, I know where both of the objectives I need for this stage are, so I should probably do them before I quit. Uh, or before I leave this one, so I'm gonna swing... I'm gonna do the boss so I can try it again. Because you have to do that every time you fuck up a balance bout or a, a football, baseball game, whatever. You have to fight the boss again. It's horrible. Ah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Fucking game design. game design. Why would you do that? <laughs> they made it back to the bindweed blanketed beach just in time. Panting, the, Leo is, turned to look Angelica at the shrine over his shoulder. Hi, Angelica. But it was already <laughs> gone. Splatoon boss. She really does look like a Splatoon <laughs> Submerged by the ocean, once again. Seagazer took a few unsteady steps through the bindweed before collapsing and bringing her knees to her chest. She had no sooner crouched down than that fucker Balan appeared beside her to start spouting some <laughs> bullshit. Your memories are back, aren't they? Though I know- Oh, I thought that said- Though I know you'd rather have kept them at bay. I thought that said, I know you'd rather have kept them, baby. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Incel Balan. She nodded. <laughs> Baby. <clears throat> oh, mama. I was a professional diver in the real world, training to be an instructor. I love the ocean so much. I would have spent all my time swimming if I could, playing with the dolphins. They were terribly curious, the dolphins. There's a um interesting story I could tell right now about <laughs> dolphins being interesting. <laughs> curious. Oh, no. One day, they oh. swam over and snuggled right up next to me. It was so adorable. But one of the dolphins got hold of my regulator, yanked it right out of my mouth. I panicked and accidentally took in a bit of seawater. Gagging on that, more of the ocean entered my lungs. I couldn't get my regulator back in my mouth, and I couldn't get my weight belt off. The more I struggled, the faster I sank to the ocean floor. Next thing Actually I knew, terrifying. I was in a hospital bed. Yeah, no, genuinely. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I, I think this is fair to have, like, a really traumatic experience. Over. Genuine trauma here. Yeah. This is like an, this is actual trauma.
as opposed Next to the chest-based trauma that we experienced earlier in the stream. Chest, chest chest related. Which, really, which really wasn't chest-related trauma, it was him just being a fucking horrible husband. Mm -hmm. Like, literally. Or the trauma of someone calling you a caterpillar nerd, which would is truly devastating. Honestly, kids, kids, kids are weird like that. I'd probably have been deeply emotionally affected by that as a kid. The, the, the old guy deeply traumatized by kids not caring about litter. Yeah, no, that dude. one's like, that one's like, you're a fucking grown ass man. Get your shit together, dude. God. Like, Next this thing is I the only was... understandable one thus far. I was in a hospital bed. One of my diver colleagues had saved me. My head felt like someone had taken a jackhammer to it and steamrolled over the pieces I'd gone so long without air. But worse than that was that I was terrified of going into the ocean again. All because those adorable dolphins had nearly drowned me, just trying to play. I couldn't go into the ocean again after that. I hated it. I hated the dolphins. I was so angry, all I could do was sit at the beach and look at the water. Then one day I went to the beach, and the Balan Theater was there. I went to the beach, Leo I put at the water. Just kind of sitting there, in the middle of the sand, awkwardly. God. Leo put a hand on Seagazer's shoulder. A it's part of you still loves like the ocean. Or anything. It's just literally just cut, like cut and paste. Mm -hmm. Come on, help me fight Lance. Once we defeat him, you can get back to swimming. Are you good. kidding? Seagazer shook her head violently. Three, three, I have no asset. love for the ocean Unreal or engine. for the dolphins anymore. <laughs> I don't ever want to go back to that world. It nearly killed me. The dark light glittered stubbornly in her eyes. You may believe those lies, but I think you do want to die. Your heart desires otherwise. Balan leaned close, peering into her face. For proof to your beautiful stage, you need only look. The real world and its oceans, you never totally forsook. Forsook I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Said Seagazer in a small voice. But I'm still really struggling from the trauma of nearly dying. So give me a bit. But I promise I me you'll save Sky <laughs> 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 I'm. I might need, like, years of therapy for this, actually. This is really... Really traumatic. I have real PTSD now. Shit! But promise me you'll save Skygate. <laughs> I can't bear the... What? I, I, I fucked up a balance bout on the very last oh. fucking hit. Sad. I can't bear the thought of him trapped as a monster in that awful darkness. I promise, Street Beat Lee upset. <laughs> Yes. And turned off Leo, to walk off of street beef, and Leo. turned to walk it off down the beach without another word. Why, little one, you seem quite upset," said Balan, glancing sidelong at Leo as they talk. As they walked, is the fact that PTSD isn't easy to fix bothering you? Is your inability to convince the others to help you fight Lance making you fret? No. <laughs> making you fret? You it's hard fella. to believe that when you wear such a fly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tell me, what oh. is it that got you so down? Hang on, look at this. So this is just going up normally. And if I hold the button, that's really fast, actually. I can also Ooh, mash it snappy. to be fun. Slap, 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 slap. 1-800, are you slapping? You know it, brother. It's just... Everyone's been hurt so badly. Mashing it is makes you wonder worse, if you'll ever be happy, even once they leave Wonderworld. Balance snorted. Snorted. C cocaine. <laughs> Happiness isn't weather. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Said nobody because this was not excellent. <laughs> not by you, nor by me, <laughs> nor by anyone asked. <clears throat> then what's the fucking point of making us pass the test the before we can fish. leave Wonderworld. Oh, the test restores jealous. balance. Nothing more, nothing less. Th don't ask about it. We didn't think this part through too hard. This was just like set up for the game. We just needed like some some fun stages to go through. <laughs> and yet the novel You're has right. completely ignored the best part of the game, the fucking dance sequences. 
<laughs> They're saving that. They've the ignored Balan's bow. They have. They have also ignored Balan's bow. Your happiness is up to you once Fucking you hell. leave. I the disagree. Wow, well yourself him. must have. I absolutely Don't despise tell me. the baseball game. There's no aiming reticle. Don't tell Wait. me you're getting cold feet, little one. Not now, when your task is so close to done. Hop to it! Chop, Balan chop. looked at him long and hard, and Leo saw himself reflected oh, in that appraising gaze. Terrible. No way am I giving up! Not when I'm the Sonin protagonist, not when I know how much everyone suffers when they're trapped by the negativity. I have to fight to free them from that. Besides, I promise, Seagazer. <clears throat> Only them. Grinning. No one else. Yeah. Who gives everyone a shit about anyone else? Fucked. This is for Seagazer. <laughs> Fascinated by her. Excuse Scientifically me. speaking. Grinning, Balan reached up to brush the brim of his top hat. Doubting you was my mistake. One I shan't a second time That was his make. mistake! <laughs> the one that used to be Skygazer. Just like the others, Skygazer's stage had been completely transformed. It should have been an endless hill overlooking the sea, freckled with windmills every color of the rainbow. Not a good enough... But now, it Air cat and air unicorn. Was... I'm I'm assuming you're referring to still referring to stage two. But now it was blanketed in strange machines Leo had never seen. Pipes and gears and oddly shaped implements lay strewn about. The windmills were still there, their rotors still turning, but they were completely rusted over. I don't think I have the air cat or been... air unicorn, so I'll the I'll... hill. You know what? I'll just go to World Six, uh, World Six, and grab uh, grab some air cats, and then I'll go back to World Two and see what that is. Cause I'm curious. Mm -hmm. This is not the menu. This is the costume. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The hill had been torn out of the earth and now floated high in the air. Leo wasn't going to get anywhere walking. He'd have to fly. I think I have one frost fairy. I might do that then. He closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, he found himself clad in a winged costume. Aero Acrobat! I should be able to fly no problem now! Still can't get over Leo the fact that they his literally rising have in the, air the exact the same hill. name as the one SNES game. <laughs> oh yeah! The one and only SNES game. <laughs> it was awkward going at first. He kept dipping and swerving through the air, threatening to fall to the earth. But eventually he got the trick of it and leveled out. Like with dancing, flying was all a matter of how he balanced himself. Oh my god, balance! Do you get it? Do you get it? He's a dancer! He sped towards the top of the hill as fast as his wings would take him. Uh-oh. He yelped as a sudden wind sent him tumbling off course. Once he'd righted himself, he looked in the direction the gust had come from and saw a windmill. Or, at, at last, what he thought was a windmill. That's no windmill! That's, that's a propeller! That's, that's what's making no this wind. wind! That's no windmill, that's a space station. Windmills do not work that way! He noticed that Skygazer's illusion yeah, was standing atop the hill. How much longer are you going? I don't know, how much longer do we have in the book? Uh, we are 60% through. Oh. Where's the, uh, where's the fun thing I can do with, uh, Frost Fairy? Leo followed his finger to an island, hovering high in the sky. Is that Cetacean Island? Cetacean Island. Lance's creation glided through the sky, almost like it had a destination in mind. Leo flew toward it, leveraging the gusts whipped up by the propellers. On the island, he was unsurprised to find a heart tree. There were Tims there, too. Like the Negative, they seemed to be able to go wherever in Wonderworld they pleased. It was almost like they'd been waiting for Leo, because the moment he arrived, they busted through the barrier around the tree. And I haven't even had a chance to feed you drops! He felt a little guilty as he reached for the first fragment of Skygazer's heart. This one was his love of the sky. The second fragment, which was apparently in the exact same tree as the first for once, <laughs> was his tenaciousness in the face of failure. 
pretty much identical to the fragments that Seagazer had discarded from her heart. Does this mean they went through the same kind of horrible thing in the real world? Then yeah, Sky except Gazer. one of them was self-inflicted, where he fucking drove off of a cliff. <laughs> the other was an accident. He, he, he watched too much Kiki's Delivery Service. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> Leo shook his head to clear yes. his thoughts. No use wondering. I have, to, I have to bring him back to himself. After all, he'd made a promise. Leo headed into the Cetacean of the Skies. Inside was far larger than he would have expected looking at it from the outside. There, he found Skygazer, or the monster that had been him. He was huge, with metal wings and propellers that made him look like a living, breathing aircraft. And his name wasn't Skygazer anymore, but Warville Wright. Did you mention Dust No, I'm starting to realize that this book doesn't have the, the crucial parts of Balan Wonderworld necessary in it. Uh, where is the, uh... Warville? Warville? <laughs> so whatever Warville. bad thing happened to him in the real oh, world worse. must have had to do with planes. Skygazer! Seagazer's back to normal! And she asked me to get you back to normal, too! Warville Wright did not seem to register what Leo was saying at all. He flung propeller after propeller after him. Their blades were razor sharp and sliced what they hit clean in two. Leo, as light on his wings as he was on his feet, dodged everything Warville Wright threw at him. In rage, Warville Wright sounds monster... like a fake name that someone makes up on the spot when they're struggling to think of an NPC name in a D&D no. campaign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cop's name is Warville. <laughs> No, the cop's name is Officer Drawbridge. I was going to say, I'm no, Constable. Constable Drawbridge, Constable specifically. Drawbridge, right. Because Constable is funnier than Officer. <laughs> Jarnathan? Yeah. <laughs> have you seen the D&D &D movie? I have not, but that, I do need to see that. Yeah, well, yeah uh, Jarnathan is one of the first characters who appears in the movie, and... Like, it is so obvious they were inspired by exactly that phenomenon. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Anyway. Jarnathan. <laughs> Leo, as light on his wings as he was on his feet, dodged everything Warville right through at him. Enraged, the monster began hurling even bigger propellers through the air. Bigger Leo wove between them, getting closer to the monster each time he dodged. Then, as Warville Wright drew back another propeller to throw, Leo seized his chance and thrust the heart fragments into Lance's mark. Warville Wright went into a tailspin, crashing into the earth, a terrible crunch. In the wreckage crouched Skygazer, unmoving. Are you okay? But he did not answer, for he was Shit, dead. No. <laughs> oh no! After a moment, Skygazer finally lifted his head. I should be asking you, letting the negativity control me, attacking you like that. Don't beat yourself up about it, seriously. I'll try not to, but Seagazer, is Seagazer all right? I tried to tell you before, but I guess there really is no reaching people through the negativity. She's fine. Your vibes were too rancid. It's normal. Skygazer released a long sigh of relief. Do me a favor and spare me the details of the kind of monster she turned into, all right? And don't tell her what I turned into. I won't, don't worry. But what happened to you in the real world? Skygazer sighed again. I dreamed of flying ever since I was a kid. In elementary school, I modded my bike into the my first ever man-powered aircraft. I just looked or at the tried to anyway. I just looked ahead at the balance statues things, and I remembered the fucking misery that is the last batch of stages where they have three Balan bouts apiece. Oh, oh no! Christ! <sighs> Sickening. Never, never, never ever, ever. I never got it an inch off the ground, but I did give up. I turned the shed outside my warehouse into my workshop and I kept tinkering away. Improving the design like. bit by bit. No. Damn it. 
that explained all the gears and apparatuses on Skygazer's stage. Is it an annoying must way to have reset been inspired them? From his that's vision. not fighting the boss? The closing the game reopening it? That Control sounds... delete? <laughs> Finish about, exit to the Isle of Tims, and it'll save. So if you fail about, exit to title. That is oh. annoying, but it does save a little time, so I might actually do that for some Less annoying than having, having to beat a boss all over again. Yeah. I'll, have, I'll keep that in mind. So, then what happened? In middle school, I took it for a test flight down a hill, and it flew for the first time. Well, by flew, I mean I got about a foot off the ground, but I lost my balance and crashed and got hurt really bad. My parents grounded me for an eternity after that, but my I'm dreams still of grounded flying now, are still actually. intact. <laughs> All that's an eternity means. I wanted to do what everyone said was impossible. Fly across the Attila Strait on a man-powered aircraft. I tried crossing my hometown river first, but I didn't even come close to making it. The Attila they Strait carried is such me away a from specific... that crash on a stretcher. My bones were broken so bad! Jesus, oh. kid. You'd think that maybe you should go to college before you keep this up. The doctor get told more knowledge. me if it had been any worse, I would have been paralyzed for the rest of my life? Kid, what the fuck is your problem? Hearing that terrified me. I haven't so much as touched my flying machine since. Yeah, I locked no up shit. in my workshop. <laughs> All the gear I scraped my allowance for together for is in there, rusting away. The cogs and drills I saw in my vision behind Balan. Those were some of the tools I used to work on my machine. That's why you lost your love of the sky and fearlessness in the face you of failure. Fucking broke every bone in your body, dipshit. I'm gonna be real, I feel like he might want to stop. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Does he need to make a fucking flying machine? We're in the modern yes. day, there are planes. He can just be a pilot. Yeah, no, like, there's, there's like, a hundred different ways you could go about it. I'd be he, done, too. He doesn't need to, to build the next Da Vinci flying machine. We have, like, jets and... And space shuttles and Fuck, shit. If you really want to be a pilot from such a young age, I hate to say it, but fucking buy a drone. Mm -hmm. Kid just looking to being an engineer. Exactly. I also, never was able to fly in the end. I felt utterly useless. They invented That's a fucking when river. Theater appeared. For, for hey. that, too. That's so good. Obsessed with that. I, I'm imagining the Balan Theater just crashing into the middle of a hospital room. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the hospital from myhouse.wad where it's just an endless loop and at the end is Balan Theater. <laughs> God. Jesus. You okay? <laughs> no, I just got scared by Bugsy. <laughs> Pokemon like woman jump scare. <laughs> no, she's clearly an Asian child. Very, very minor distinction though. Easy mistake to make. Her name is Yuri. That's Russian. <laughs> she looks like an Asian kid. Also, aren't Russia Russians, is like half it, in Asia. Oh, it is. It is Asia. It's like seventy percent of Asia. <laughs> Flight simulator. Yeah, there are like so many solutions to this problem <laughs> that this kid has. But Just he play decided... pilot wings. <laughs> you don't need to do this. You are this there, is entirely self-imposed, kid. I want to fly, <laughs> but I only want to fly if I made the flying machine. Buy a fucking it's like... hang glider. <laughs> there are like 700 different solutions to this problem. Buy parasailing or something. It's you can fit through those bars? Good. I will try that. I was about to say, I've seen a couple characters named Yuri right. in Japanese things. Is it a Japanese oh. name as well? Then I was about to Google Japanese Yuri before I realized what I, what I was doing. Uh, <laughs> my favorite instance of it is in um, Yuri on Ice, uh, you know, the figure skating anime. Um, there is an, another participant in the in the competition who is a uh, who is from Russia, 
whose name is also Yuri, and so to distinguish the two of them, they give him a funny nickname, and he hates it. <laughs> <laughs> but after all that, you still wouldn't let go of your dream to fly across the ocean. Really? That's why you had Lance make you Cetacean Island, isn't it? Why you, why you had to make it out of your reach to give yourself the goal of getting there one day. I don't know. I guess it could have been subconscious. I've got just the fearless like... part of you back now, Skygazer. Help me fight Lance. Skygazer hung his head. What did Seagazer say? She said she hated the ocean. Skygazer let out a soft, bitter laugh. Just like I hate the sky. I don't care about flying anymore, Street Beat. Good. I'm fine looking up at it from shouldn't, down here. If I'm being honest. Yeah. <laughs> So he's out too. Leo's shoulders sag. Another dead end? Leo spun around and saw Balan shaking his head sadly. Rotten luck, my friend. If only these people hadn't been traumatized, this would be a lot easier. <laughs> Wonder what could have stopped that. What? SMH, my head. <laughs> well, Sky. that's enough for me. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> the one that used to be Sentinel of the City. Street Beat Leo felt his jaw drop when they arrived at Sentinel stage. The once peaceful city was in flames. Oh, <laughs> and crimson I'm not going back lava stage, flooded sorry. the stage. <laughs> I'm not going back to one to eleven two. I can't. Leo saw I'm Sentinel's illusion enough. standing atop a boulder surrounded by the stuff. He was dressed in a firefighter's uniform. Huge if true. Never would have guessed. Uh, was that his job back in the real world? Oh my, oh dear, sighed Balan. He's lost himself to fear. How embarrassing, being afraid of fire. Womp womp. I don't remember doing an out of bounds with Itzy on... Uh, yeah, well, too. so did the others. Sentinel's deepest fear is fire, so makes sense that's what he'd use to protect his stage and try and stop me. The stronger the fear, the stronger the negative power in turn. You still want to risk feeling his sick burns? <laughs> you that's... better have burn heal. That's I'll just have to think like a. Heard so far. That that one was all four. Oh. <laughs> I added the sick burn. Good. <laughs> On, on second thought, that was the best one I've heard all night. Because it, because, it was because it was believable enough to fit in. To be fair, it was a turn burn. I just added the second there. To make... I'll just have to think like a firefighter and use their tools of the trade. Leo donned a costume modeled after a fire hydrant water blaster, the best costume in the game. God, that one sucks so much. <laughs> oh, very clever. Then I shall leave you to your endeavor. At that, Balan disappeared. You're fucking useless. Thanks for useless. nothing You're again. Fucking... Thanks for literally, fucking... It's fucking Literally not... the embodiment of the fucking tuxedo mask. My work here is done, meme. <laughs> God, fucking Toyota Yapathon over here. He just shows up and spouts shit and leaves. Leo used the costume's endless supply of water to cool off the lava blocking the streets one piece by one little piece. And made one his piece. way through the stage. Yo. The one piece! Yeah, yo, yeah, yo! So... Anyway. But even so, he still sweltered in the heat of the blaze. It was so hot, the sweat he flicked from his brow evaporated in seconds. It was How getting harder and harder to sweat? go on. Don't, don't worry about it. He came to a stop in front of a particularly huge bonfire, thinking this was as far as he could go. But seeing the way the Tims followed, all bunched together to protect one another from the flame, <laughs> gave Leo the push he needed to keep going. He took one step and then another and another. Take one step and then again. Yeah. What is stuck in my teeth? Oh, okay. 
Cookie. In the flames, he found a little bit of cookie. <laughs> in the flames, he found the first heart tree, where he recovered the part of Sentinel that found purpose in protecting his town. The next fragment was Sentinel's faith in himself. I love how what they kind of firefight? And then the search for the second tree at this point is like they it's just basically gloss. redundant. Gloss over yeah. It. Much like the secondary stage in, in most instances is completely fucking worthless. <laughs> Except for in 2-2, where it gives us the best costume in the game, and in 11 or in 12-2, where I get a chance to do a silly, like a silly out of bounds clip. <laughs> what Tim kind of firefighter of just of abandoned his duty? <laughs> a sentinel can't protect anything if he isn't at his post. It made Leo She's want to cry and sob anything. and scream and throw up. Though he knew what he was feeling probably paled in comparison to what Sentinel himself felt. No wonder the man lost faith in himself. Leo forged ahead to where? Sentinel lurked, waiting. Sentinel, or rather, the Hydrak, as he was now called, looked just like his new name implied. But instead of water, red hot magma spouted from his maw, burning what Wait. little there was Wait. left of the town to a charred crisp. So he's allowed to just be called Sentinel, but they have to say Madam of the Mansion in full every single time. This does read like a guess? creepypasta, honestly. It's just, <laughs> like, it's very specific in the way that it describes things until it gets to any of the actually, like, interesting bits. <laughs> there is a car alarm going off outside. Thank you, Hydra. Oh, that's me, for sorry. From the car that you have. Yeah. Little little did uh, Cork never told uh, told us, but uh, she's actually uh, on Discord Mobile uh, and is just in a car outside of my house right now. <laughs> I've been <laughs> driving while reading. Don't tell the police. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, no, I think it's funnier if I imagine you pulling over to the side of the road every time it's your turn and just stopping for like twenty minutes at a time and reading and then <laughs> then driving again. <laughs> Getting back on the Police highway. Please drive safely. <laughs> You're supposed to guard this city, not burn it down. You That's the exact opposite of a firefighter. That's a you were supposed to fire say... helper. God. Oh my God. Anakin Skywalker that mob. Literally. The dragon spewed lava and flames everywhere. Leo hosed them down as best he could as he closed in on the monster. But the closer he moved toward the Hydrak, the more unbearably hot it got. I'm until even his costume break. started to smoke and sizzle. <laughs> taking a Tim break. Yep. I got my Easter basket right next to me. I got Let's some go. and some Kit Kats and Hell some yeah. Hershey Kisses. Pretty <sighs> schnazzy. I got some Pocky in mine. It was tasty. Mm. My, Just my parents, we thought he... I, uh, my parents got... I uh, usually go get, get like... My parents usually get like a, a big bag of Starburst jelly beans they put into like a little display dish for people to munch on. But this year they don't didn't have the regular Starburst jelly beans. They only had a big bag that was just full of red ones. It was Sad. it was well I I like the red ones so it was fine, but it was just very funny <laughs> because I was imagining someone just make it, preparing like a batch of them regularly and then going into it afterwards and sorting all of them out back out again so that they just had all the red ones again. <laughs> like, instead of the, what they probably actually did, just the idea of someone manually picking them out for all of them was just very funny. That's actually my job. <laughs> Where was I? There. Just when he thought he couldn't take anymore, he spotted Lance's negative mark. He wound his arm back and hurled the fragments of Sentinel's heart at it as hard as he could. In slow motion, the Hydrak crumbled. <laughs> Did you see in the Hydrak? Slow -mo. Wait, yeah, they put that part in as being happening in universe. <laughs> yeah, you know, why not? The dramatic slow mo in the final hit. I love that. Yeah, it goes hard. The flames ravaging the town sputtered out. Leo found Sentinel in the ruins, looking just as rough as he had when they'd first met. Not feeling the firefighter uniform anymore? Sentinel hung his head in shame. I don't deserve to wear it. How do you figure? 
For a long moment, he did not answer. Then, haltingly, he started to speak. I loved being a firefighter. Every time there was a call, I'd be the first one changed and in the truck. I cracked jokes with everyone else on the ride over, saying things like, Not every day we get to be a hero. Oh, wait, yes we do! <laughs> and then everyone would laugh, and we'd all bump fists, and everyone I'm, clapped. Everyone I'm stood up and clapped. I'm and everybody clapped. I'm so... <laughs> sure that they loved that so much and they were not annoyed by it yeah i'm sure that, I, I'm sure that your co-workers loved you yeah every you single know this, you made that joke you know every co-worker wanted him fired <laughs> well yeah that's how it works yeah everybody at this fire station desires me carnally <gasps> Stop. we didn't think there was a fire we couldn't put out but but then there was a fire we couldn't put out. <laughs> but then there was a fire at an abandoned factory. <laughs> I glanced over at some houses. I glanced over at the at the book and for a second I thought that's what it said. <laughs> God, I wish that would be funny. <laughs> but then they, our exact worst fears were realized. <laughs> there was a fire there... that we couldn't put out. There wasn't any saving the factory, but we weren't about to let the flames hang spread on, to those people's on, homes. Hang on, hang on. The voice you're doing here reminds me of the fucking narration from the Willy Wonka experience guy talking about the unknown. <laughs> <laughs> and I it's the a, unknown. And I just had a moment where I realized how fucking perfectly that fits with the fucking Valor Wonder World. <laughs> Just imagining the unknown popping out from behind one of the mirrors. Uh, <laughs> God. God. Oh, God. God damn it. Balan Wonka World. Balan Wonka World. God. What, 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 was, what was the fake name that they came up with? It was Willie's Chocolate Experience or something like that, wasn't it? I don't know. Willie uh, McSomething. Willie McDuff, I think. Willie McDuff. Oh my, that was one of my favorite fucking memes. In the, it, it was so fucking good. It's a very good video by waiting, wait in the wings about it. They did a fucking phenomenal video on uh, 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 Spider-Man uh, Turn Off the Dark. Um, but their video on the the uh, Willie's uh, oh. Willie's whatever the fuck experience. Uh, Willie's sexual. Willie's whatever, Willie's whatever the fuck. The fuck. <laughs> Uh, but that's that, a better name for it. Yeah. Willie's <laughs> wet and wild adventure. <laughs> Our captain had us spread out it's in front of the factory with our hoses. Coming out from behind this procedure. mirror right here specifically. Oh we were worried. We knew we were going to be heroes again today, just like every other day. Everyone loved that joke. <laughs> Sentinel dropped his gaze. We were wrong, though. Something inside the factory exploded. Some chemicals or gas or something left from when it was still in operation. It turned the Please, place to an inferno. <laughs> the heat was strong enough to burn us even through our uniforms. Then I realized that everyone else had gotten a lot closer to the blaze. No. That's not right. Oh, you know what? They Actually, weren't yeah, close. I, uh, I, I should try the. I should try getting uh, itsy and try clipping through the door instead. Ooh, <laughs> that'd be fun. I hadn't realized. Oh, yeah, I, I just fuck? remembered. I uh, read an article about in, an interview with the the guy who arranged the whole thing. Oh my god, they got <laughs> one. They got an interview. Yeah, with they, him? they got an interview with the guy who uh, set up the whole thing with used the. Uh, chat GPT prompts and everything. Uh, he he says his life has been ruined by the reaction to the good. The He's Willy's a fucking scammer. Experience. And direct quote: "It made me feel sick to the pit of my tummy." The pit of my tummy. My tummy, my not tummy his hurts. tummy. The poor man. <laughs> yeah, no. If you read up on the. If you read up on the situation, it's it's very funny. Um, but the fact that he he definitely did like still scam people out of their money, but like at least no one was like fucking hurt or like no one's livelihood was on the line. Um, 
or anything, but it's just very, um, it's just very silly. Um, but if you read up on it, like, if you learn about the other things that the guy did in the past, this is entirely in line with, uh, mm -hmm. uh, they've, with what he... They found his Amazon listings, all the books he's published on Amazon that are 100% <laughs> chat GPT, just run copied paste directly into without doing any sort of editing or checking whatsoever oh okay hang on i gotta open the door apparently a they are thoroughly incoherent excellent okay i hadn't realized it but the force of the fire and my own fear caused me to stumble away ignoring my orders and then what happened the captain came on the radio and told us to back off. I yelled, get back to everyone else, but they stayed where they were and ignored orders. The flames kept coming toward them. I was terrified. I retreated backwards like the captain had told me to do, angling my hose at the fire as I went. We managed to put it out before it got to any of the houses, but I, I couldn't look any of the others hose, in the face. But the first thing I heard when you say angling my hose was, uh -huh. I was yeah, it was, uh, I know, I know. All right, you know what? That's like yeah, a me tier I... joke. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's why. That's why I was ex partly expecting it. We managed to put it out before it got to any of the houses, but I couldn't look any of the others in the face on the way back to the station. None of them had run away in fear like I had. He, he, he fucking followed his captain's orders to get back. What? <laughs> Suited it's okay back, to be I changed intimidated. And went home. Oh my god, I, I can't believe he was... my pantyhose so they'd look the most fetching. <laughs> they should do a fire like a firehouse burlesque show. Oh my god, that that would kick ass. The fire Dude, they do those calendars every year. <laughs> Do burlesque the, one the, instead the of the having fact that like firemen, oil up. firemen calendars are like like a thing. Like, just as, like, a general pop culture thing is so funny to me. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't, you, like, you never see the fucking, like, a police force doing something like that. Because, one, they're because too busy committing suck. crimes. And two, <laughs> just, I don't know. Like, it's just very funny to me. Uh, very, I don't know. Anyway, continue. There was a photo of my colleagues on the front page under a headline calling them heroes. I was so glad it was my day off, so I didn't have to go into the station. And face them and have to explain why I'd retreated so far without any orders. You had orders! You had orders! Yeah, what is he talking about? The captain said get back, and I got back, and I felt really bad about doing that. It's I'll okay also, to be sorry, fucking so scared I'm sometimes. A page fast enough, I, missed, I lost track of where we were. That's okay. Some, like, I literally, lose... sometimes you That's can what... be intimidated Alan by Alan Wonderworld something. does that to a person, I think. It, it, it does. It, it's, <laughs> it has rotted my brain sufficiently. The person you saw in your vision, the one that looked like you, that was one of your squad, wasn't it? Must have been, yeah. I spent the night after the factory incident wandering around town. I remember, as soon as I decided to quit the force, the Balan Theater showed up. Sentinel's shoulder sagged. Just one. Just the one shoulder. It, would you really call it quitting the force when it comes to, like, re retiring from, like, being a, a firefighter? Like, that just doesn't seem... I don't think they usually use that term, though. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's odd. I don't know. I'm not a hero. I never was. We're... I've only been a Q&B. I, hand, I handed in my hose of... and badge. <laughs> I've only ever been a coward. I've only ever yeah, startled no, Gomez, a bit in Gomez front of a huge it. inferno. It made sense now why Sentinel had gotten rid of the parts of himself he had. Leo placed a hand on his shoulder. Help me fight Lance. You can still be a hero. You can still protect your town. Okay, now go tell me no like everyone else. Sentinel only shook his head. Literally, this I book is cutting you, out the best but part every time. Like, we've not had a single dance number yet. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. We haven't had a single Malin bout either. Yeah. I told you, I'm nothing but a coward. Then you're fine letting Watcher be a monster forever? That which, seemed to strike a nerve. Which one was Watcher? Sent the bird woman. Oh, yeah. 
Sentinel started shaking all over, but then he stilled and hung his head again. Cowards can't face monsters. If you need me, I'll be fighting Lance. If Leo turned me, away. I'll be a hero. Unlike you. He <laughs> wasn't at all surprised to find Balan waiting for him. That fucking bastard, here to spout more bullshit, arms crossed, grinning the same obnoxious grin as always. And then he didn't say anything. Hooray! Yet. <laughs> Balan standing at the edge of the scene and just staring at you is the most Balan Wonderworld thing I've heard all the one that used to be Watcher of the Woods. Watcher stage had barely changed at all. The giant trees and cozy little tree houses were all still there. Leo figured Watcher must have been loath to change her stage, even to better protect it against an invading enemy. The only difference was the light, or lack thereof. It was pitch black beneath the foliage, no more sun dappling through the leaves. And the place was crawling with niggity. They seemed to be piqued by Street Beat Leo's presence. He closed his eyes. When he opened them again, he was wearing a costume called Guardian Bird. Oh, I one. knew birds were a sore spot for Watcher! Leo flapped his wings, whipping up a biting wind that blew all the negativity in his path away. Sweet! <laughs> Sweet! He said in his anime protagonist voice. Watcher's illusion guided Leo through the stage. As he went, he rebuffed the flocks of no. negative that attacked him with powerful flaps of his wings. At last, he found the heart trees. First, he recovered the part of Watcher that no. found purpose in Come on. protecting the woods. Ah. And then, the part of her that trusted others. Are you no. good? <laughs> No, no, he was commenting on what I was doing when I got to the balance oh. bout at the end of the fucking staircase that <laughs> kept like shutting he was down. Ha! 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 Me when I'm Their doing a balance bout. The only things Watcher of the Woods and Sentinel of the City had in common. Their heart fragments were nearly identical, too. Since Sentinel had been a firefighter in the real world, Leo guessed that meant Watcher must have been some sort of forest ranger or something. Some sort of bird observer. <laughs> but where Sentinel had lost his faith in himself, Watcher had lost her faith in humanity. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Including, no doubt, Leo. So that meant he wasn't going to solve this by talking sense into her. As that that does not work for anybody. Clearly, you need but to have a dance off. Run away from Just when do a dance off. I'm begging you. <laughs> They've been setting up his dancing prowess the whole time. You gotta they have, pay it off eventually. They have loaded a like, like, they have put like six different guns uh, on the table, and pr and put several boxes next to them and everything, and not a single person has touched them. <laughs> also, I got both balance bouts on this stage. Fuck yeah. Good. Let's Never have to touch go. it again. And it would come down to it once he'd traveled deep enough into the woods. Leo looked around. Somehow he'd wandered into a giant bird nest without realizing it. He'd no sooner set foot into the nest oh, shit, than the monster that had been Watcher swooped down to attack. But her name wasn't Watcher anymore. It was no. Cuckoo. Cuckoo? That's, that's just not cuckoo. even creative. Yeah, that's... That's just that's zero really stars one so far. <laughs> come, come on! We started off with Fort Stuffer and the what was Bartholomew. the Bartholomew. 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 I still think Bartholomew is just slightly better than Fort Stuffer the Fourth. It's Bar a very. I don't think anything's beating Bartholomew. Yeah, Bartholomew. Like the way that they had dram like there was dramatic pause and then it was. Italics and the only thing in its line, Bartholomew. Every other one has paled in comparison since that moment. And I knew that name <laughs> was coming. Is the best part is like I knew that name was the first boss's name, and then it still <laughs> caught me off guard. 
It's so good. It's so good. <clears throat> she was a hideous giant covered in garish feathers. Be nice. Her attacks were also unrestrained and erratic. While unsightly, she was also fascinating. She had the same power as Leo. No, she was more powerful than him by a long shot. Each and yet, flap of her wings still birth, deals with her that spun right at him. Hmm? And yet he still still deals with her effortlessly. <clears throat> Will you quit it? I'm trying to help you. By he knew she wouldn't believe him if he you. said it out loud, so he didn't. She was not going to let him. As agile and graceful as Leo was, dodging so many tornadoes one after the other was taking its toll. And he was not getting any closer to her since she was flying so high up. I gotta watch carefully! Dodging tornadoes left and right, Leo studied her every maneuver. She couldn't sustain flying forever. She was too big. She'd have to come back down eventually. Now! Leo dashed over the moment Cuckoo came down, thrusting the fragments of her heart into Lance's mark. She let out a squawk of pain, writhing in agony as her body shrank and transformed back into Watcher. But unlike when, she when he had returned the others to themselves, she regarded Leo with cold suspicion. Leo may have returned the part of her that trusted others, but he supposed those wounds on her heart hadn't completely healed yet. You like birds a lot, didn't you? Watcher gave a curt nod. I did. I was getting my master's in ornithology. My thesis was on the lazuli bird, a large species of migratory stork with stunning blue wingtips. There's only a few hundred of them left. There, there was a mammoth of a tree in the woods near where I lived, and a mated pair of lazuli birds had built their top roost at its top. It was far too high up to see from the ground, but I guess there had to be at least two or three eggs in the nest. Lazuli birds are doting parents. One would stay in the nest to warm the clutch under its body, while the other would bring back as much food as it could. In the fall, once their hatchlings were ready to fly, the whole family would head south for the winter. There was a mammoth in the tree. No, <laughs> it's the mammoth. Hmm, the mammoth. I went to the woods. I went to the woods to do my research. I imagined catching sight of one of the hatchlings flying around, exploring outside its nest, and felt my face beaming in a smile. But that smile crumbled away when I heard the telltale sound of machinery. I got worried and ran in the direction of the sound, and found men with chainsaws at the trunk of the Leslie Bird's tree. Leo felt his breath catch in his throat. What? Why? They were cutting down all the trees in the area to clear land for houses. There was construction equipment everywhere I looked. They'd already carved their way through a huge chunk of the woods. I just noticed that the, co the, the people in the background also stop moving when you go into the time portal. That's fun. Oh, hey. <laughs> What's the fun thing I can do with the time portal? Then, that giant, terrible beast you saw in your vision. He must have been a bulldozer or a digger or something. Watcher nodded. I shouted at the top of my lungs, You can't cut that tree down! The Leslie Bird's nest is up there! But they told me they'd already gotten the permit from the mayor. As they never even turned matters. their chainsaws off. I made a grab for one. Then just, then just jump back to the main part of- the, Oh my god, you're totally right. I can just <laughs> fucking continue through the rest of the stage like this. <sighs> well, okay, there's only so much I can do on this part. Also, the music- uh, if I swap costumes, it goes back to the, uh... Oh, wait, hang on. Nope. Also, this is the longest I've heard this theme for. This is the music that plays when the when the animals start cheering for you. But because I'm time-stopped, it hasn't stopped playing. You are being oh, wait. recommended to swap costumes. Okay. Did I do something wrong? Huh. Oh! That's not how it's supposed to work, is it? Huh. Oh, wait a Interesting. second. Interesting! <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god, I love that. Zawarudo! But the guy shoved me off. 
I kept trying to stop them getting more <laughs> and silly. more desperate, more and more violent. There is no practical me. application for that, but I love that. It's mm -hmm. very fun. I, I love that it's something you're able to do. Hang on, I wonder if I remove direct. if I remove it from my inventory and just get a different one. It does. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and even in the time stop world, the dancing creatures on the other side of the portal are still dancing. It's just this one guy. Wait, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, and then this one vanishes because I got close. Oh my god, this fucking video game. When will the unknown step out from behind the time portal? <laughs> Watcher fell silent for a long moment. Then Balan appeared beside them. That's ah, not the end. Guy. Is it my friend? Watcher oh. glared at him. Oh, that's why. Because they're also Chrono Bunny. Oh! There's an actual oh, purpose sense. behind it. That's, that's fun. <laughs> Later that night, I snuck out to where the nest was. Jesus, stream elements, the calm down. Monsters. Slow your roll. The monsters had cut the giant tree down, and I found the nest where it had fallen to the earth. The eggs smashed beyond saving. The Lisley birds stood over the remains of their home, looking shell-shocked. I started crying. I told them over and over I was sorry I couldn't protect them. I went back to the construction site every night after that. Even though they'd cleared away the giant tree and most of the woods around it, even though there was nothing there for them to eat, the Leslie birds lingered. Those birds, there's nothing more precious to them than their offspring. If a chick dies in the nest, the parents never leave again. That's one of the reasons Leslie birds are going extinct. Who's going to mention? Because they fucking kill themselves every time that they're, they lose their children. The winter was coming, and I begged them to fly south. I told them they could come back in the spring and try because to find somewhere safer to build me, another nest. <laughs> exactly. To raise another brood. The poor things wouldn't budge, no matter how much I tried to get them to go. I found their bodies in the snow where the giant tree once stood. Jesus. A that would be really impactful if it wasn't, like, really shitty. <laughs> like, that idea of, like... Like encountering an, like a, a specific wild animal and then later finding it dead like that mm -hmm. is it's always upsetting but like when it's one that you specifically like i don't know like th like there's something to be said about that but everything about this situation is really poorly done mm -hmm. <laughs> much like this game this book has taken the exact wrong approach to writing everything every possible <laughs> <laughs> You're goddamn right. Humans are so cruel, so unbelievably selfish and greedy. I hate them. They'll destroy anything in the name of development. You couldn't pay me to live in one of those big houses. Not when they're built in the bones of the Lasley birds, and who knows how many other poor creatures. Watch her punch your teeth. Bala and Oh yeah, that's aside. right. You do go farther with, with air kind of you go do mash. Actually, you know what? Let me turn up. Let me turn up the frame rate. That might actually help. No. Balan breathed a sigh. Humans are everything you accuse. Between them and the sweet Lazuli bird, I know which I'd choose. But, but there aren't any Lazuli birds on your stage," said Leo. "They're in the real world. If you don't go back, you won't be able to help any of them." No matter the how much he tried to. Great, yeah. <laughs> Funniest image of the entire goddamn game. No matter how much he tried to reason Rainbow with Watcher, the, nice, yes. the dark light in her eyes refused to be extinguished. Wow, yeah, that is way he gave up on trying to convince her to leave. Well, one thing is undeniable, drawled Flat Balan. Your team isn't exactly reliable. <laughs> <laughs> what is this Jeep. fucking problem? Gee, thanks, <laughs> Captain Obvious. Oh, behind Leo the turned his okay. back on him and strode away. Only three more left. Three more chances. At this rate, victory may well be Lance's. 
Do you ever shut up? He shouted. That's what I'm fucking saying. <laughs> he hadn't really meant to. Balan only shrugged. That means no. Don't the one that me. used to be pensive Pierre. Yes. <laughs> Let's yes. fucking go. <laughs> Alright, so I don't collect these rainbow drops. I'm assuming there there's a way to get them to spawn infinitely then. Oh, we're duplicating them? Yeah. At first glance, it did not seem like Pensive Piero's amusement park had changed all that much, but it was the black of night now. Whereas it had been a bright afternoon on Leo's last visit, neon signs lit up the whole park. It was surprisingly beautiful in an ethereal way. Oh, little one, don't let appearances deceive, said Balan with a snort. This place is a maze. Not everything you see you should believe. I'm not stupid, snapped Leo peevishly. Le Leo's treating Balan how he deserves to be treated. So you can collect and you'll get this four. Fucking piece oh. of shit. That's the fun. families and couples he had seen strolling. Strolling? Strolling around. St strolling, strolling, strolling. Yeah, strolling no around earlier. We're gone. We're gone, leaving crowds of negaty in their place. The music playing was no longer that cheerful march, but a creepy variation of the <laughs> Why is that so funny? Be because it's this written wasn't... like a creepypasta line. <laughs> God, yeah. But, but there was hyper-realistic blood and Mario was crawling out of my TV screen at me. God. <laughs> We need to have this a bad wasn't... creepypasta reading night. That'd be so fun. God, please. This wasn't the stage of the kind clown that had warmly greeted Street Beat Leo and Clock Tower Kid so long ago. Clock Back Towel. when he was still Street Beat Leo. Clock Towel Kid. Leo figured it didn't much resemble the amusement oh park of of Piero had worked in the real world either. And it was probably riddled with traps. He had to tread carefully. Looking the, around, he I noticed mean, all sorts of attractions floating in the Surface air, stage. connected by nothing but roller coaster tracks. I was playing Resident Evil, but it had super taste. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the PS1 version, which made it really scary, because there was just real blood coming out of these these polygonal models. And then I that was playing scary. the Resident Evil HD collection, and then it was pixelated blood. On, on real models, and then I realized I was just playing on low <laughs> graphic settings. <laughs> Dude, my graphics card was shit. <laughs> There's no twist here. God. Yeah, yeah, I know, said Leo before Balan could open his mouth to speak. I'm I'm absolutely this sure rules, for actually. Leo just getting just getting sick of balance shit. <laughs> and donned a wheeled costume called Rail Runner. Turns getting around GPU shouldn't be dying, a problem. And I wasn't now. haunted at all. <laughs> he hopped up on the tracks, leaving Balan behind him. He passed the merry-go-round of the teacups, heading for the Ferris wheel he had ridden with Clock Tower Kid and Pensive Piero. It really hadn't been that long ago, but it felt like decades had passed. There came a sharp aching in his chest when he thought about the day the three of them had spent together. But the rides were not meant for Leo's amusement anymore. They were nightmarish stop. obstacles meant to stop him. Well, it hasn't <laughs> quite been a decade, but it has been entirely too long since we read that part, yes. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been that long ago, but it felt like around two or three years had passed, maybe uh, one, want... two around there. Uh, we, we got to this part in the no we got to the novel in about because we because we played this game in April last year, or in 2021, so it would have been probably June or July of 21. So it would have it's been about two years, nine months Damn. or so. Damn. <laughs> yeah, no, this game is old. Why oh, is this game already three years old? I don't know. Fucked up. What did the you know fuck? That, did you know that um, uh, fucking uh, Mario Odyssey is uh, how old now? Uh, God, it's seven years old. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, but <laughs> Prince of Piero probably never of the imagined crippling, <laughs> the crippling uh, impossible nature of time. Pensive of Piero probably never imagined his attractions trying to hurt people when he first created them. He'd only ever wanted people to have fun. 
2019 Excuse was me. half a decade it, ago. <laughs> Jesus. It hurt Leo thinking of how the clown's intentions had been corrupted. <laughs> the clown's intentions had clown's been corrupted. The clown's intentions had been corrupted. God, he fought Negati as he explored the maze of the park and located the heart fragments. The first was the part of Pensive Piero that had the courage to bear his body, his heart. And the second was his courage to accept others' feelings. Finding the fragments gave Leo new insight into the clown. You don't need to keep calling him the clown. He has a name. It's what he is. <laughs> he was in love his with the princess of the was, parade, but he is didn't the have which word for clown. <laughs> oh. He was I in do... love with the princess of the parade, but he didn't have the nerve to tell her. I do still think that the idea of Balan, the Balan theater, uh, pulling people from like different points in time. Like, I don't know, like, something about it just, I don't know, the specific example that comes into my mind is, like, Sammy from, uh, the Pokemon movie meeting Ash, <laughs> for whatever reason. Like, I just like the idea of people from the past, present, and future, like, meeting in this, like, pocket dimension and mm -hmm. not even really realizing it. So, in that way, it's kind of neat that, pe like, the, the girl in the parade is the same as, um the the girl whose cat fucking died i think that that concept <laughs> i think i think that that concept is very neat um but i really wish that they hadn't made it like specifically this young girl who's clearly like eight or nine or so and then a much older um like a much older guy um like, in the cutscene, she's clearly older as well, but in the novel, they're not different. They're, they're different ages when they're react interacting with one another, and they seem to have, I don't know, a much older mm. clown. But Balan, I am Pagliacci. <laughs> I know you can do it, thought Leo, gritting his teeth. He knew he was going to have to fight Pensive Piero, but he hated the thought. After all, the kind clown had been one of his very first friends in Wonderworld. Him and Clock Tower Kid. Excuse me. The shock made Leo stop. He had just thought of them as friends. He'd never thought of anyone as friends before. He was a lone wolf. He was a lone wolf. <laughs> he'd never she, thought she he a, needed friends. He was a he skater was boy. Fine she said see you later, boy. <laughs> God. He felt his eyes go wide with the realization that he wasn't being a little bitch anymore. That's exactly oh, why I have to street. fight him. Because he's my friend. And I have to help him. I have to kick the shit Leo... out of my friends. <laughs> Leo pressed on through the amusement park, heading for where the merry-go-round used to be. But all the horses and carriages were gone. Leaving behind an empty platform, slowly rotating. Leo felt a cold chill run up and down his spine. I know you're there, Pensive. Pensive. Specifically the other adjective. Half of his name. He's a word. His name. I know you're Goodness. there, Pensive emoji. So where's Emma though? Good question. An excellent she's, question. She's just fucking she's dead. gone. She's, she's gone forever. Dead. As if summoned by Written his out. shout. Retcon mid novel. Emma? The only character I know is Fighter. That's right. We don't actually know her name is Emma right now. <laughs> oh, she's probably busy fighting Lance then while we're just uh, running around. Fighter Emma. Hang on. Who's whose emote is that? Is that Chiron? Oh, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's T posing Ooh. Emma. That's very fun. I've been meaning to get Dubby. I, I keep saying I'm gonna commission Dubby to do emotes. I need a Balan disgusted emote. <laughs> Like, like Balan's face, or you disgusted at Balan? Balan's face being disgusted because I like the <laughs> idea of him like scrunching up the brim of his hat, so he's like, Ugh. I, I like that visual a lot. <laughs> Rucky has just pointed out something of vital importance. We are at sixty-nine percent of the way through the book. Nice. What fucking go? Nice. Nice. Okay, where was I? Wait a second. As if summoned by his shout. 
As if summoned by his shout, a monster appeared in the middle of the platform. A horrible Erwin for the horrible parade in this horrible park. In the horrible no good, very bad park. <laughs> Princess Mary. Seriously? Said Leo. Do you lose your nerve and suddenly seize the villain in all this? Misogynist, I thought you loved her. Wait, that's right. The villain, the the boss for for the World Nine is it, it, like it's not Piero. It, it's a completely different character. Like it's oh. not even like a warped version of him. It's a warped version of the princess. Does that mean Clock Tower did get to be two bosses? I guess. <laughs> but he knew it was a know, waste you know, of time. To argue with Pensive Piero, the clock was too far. Or clown, clock. The clock what the hell was going too on far about? gone. It <laughs> was too late at night. <laughs> the clown was too far gone for Leo's words to reach him. We can't Princess beat up Mary. The clown. Send in the clown. Princess Mary flounced this way and <laughs> that, trying evil, to Pensive squash Piero. him underfoot. <laughs> God, think you're a better dancer than me, huh? I've had dance lessons. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see it. Hi, Princess did, I didn't Mary. Put, I didn't on. put that together when we were actually fighting the thing. Hang on, did we? Did he ever describe any outfits he picked up on this stage? No. Uh, he The rail runner. Oh, oh right. I totally shit. forgot. Yeah, the, the one of the <laughs> worst ones. I just noticed that Quark changed changed her use, her nickname in our server to Chess Related Incident. <laughs> <laughs> Delightful. Really, really funny phrase. That's going to be sticking with me. Leo dodged her every sachet with practice ease. You don't have the nerve to beat me. He called his taunt tinted with sadness. So you don't I, have I, the fucking I, balls. You don't have the nerve to beat me. <gasps> Where was the balance? And that out? Princess Mary summoned a stampede of carousel horses. The horses <laughs> rollicked on erratic paths toward For him, but Leo second, had the experience of all his of carrots. <laughs> if only. <laughs> but Leo had the experience of all his previous battles and dance lessons to draw from. Every time he dodged an equine enemy, he made sure he got that much closer to the center of the platform where Princess Mary stood. She spun into a high-speed twirl as he approached, the edge of her skirt sharp as a knife. Leo had to be careful not to get sliced into ribbons. Sharp as a knife? She's literally spinning like a buzzsaw. That's the easiest comparison you could have made. <laughs> what is wrong with this book? Enough already! Leo shoved the heart fragments into Lance's mark. Princess Mary let out an ear splitting spree shriek, Jesus, and crumpled let out an ear splitting squeak and crumpled <laughs> to the ground. The heap of lace and frills slowly shrunk back into Pensive Piero. Hey, hey, oh, you know kid! You know what I just realized? Um, Wait, did, did he trans his gender for this boss fight? Yes. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Good for him. Gender fluid. Gender fluid. <laughs> <laughs> that that one line of Chucky saying gender fluid will stick with me for the rest of my goddamn life. It's so funny. <laughs> I have a kid, you know. Gender fluid. It, and it, it the way he enunciated enunciates it is like he barely understands what it is, but he knows that it's like that he. Like, that's, that's the word, but he says the word like it's the compound word, as in gender hyphen fluid, or gender space fluid. <laughs> I wish I could remember the name of the character. Um, uh, I've never seen the, the show, that's the only clip I know from it. Well, yeah. the, the, the show is pretty good. It's just that the gender fluid kid in question is from... Uh, what is widely to believe the to be the Jenna worst Chucky Blue. Chucky movie, uh, Seed of Chucky. Unfortunate. Yeah. Remarkably, the actual gender fluid aspect is not handled badly because you know the writer of the Chucky franchise is queer. So, like, huh. like he he's gone out of his way to just make like the main character of uh like one of the main plot points of the Chucky TV show is that the main character is gay, and uh, he lives with. Uh, really not great family uh in that regard and um 
even when he moves in after after Chucky kills his dad. Spoilers, spoiler alert: Chucky kills people. <laughs> um, oh no! True. Yeah, but uh, after Chucky kills his dad uh, and he moves in with his more accepting family uh, or his uncle, it's still, you know, there's there, I don't know. The, the Chucky show is really good. Um, <laughs> Even it's at this point that I realized the... that I never added uh, Child's Play onto my list of horror movies to watch. Yeah, Child's Play is really good. Child's Play 1 is really good. Child's Play 2 is also really good. Child's Play 3 is much less good. And then Bride of Chucky is one of the best horror movies ever. Uh, at oh. least I would... It, okay, it's not it's not scary, but it's one of the most iconic horror movies ever. Because it, it's... Child's Play, or uh, Bride, Bride of Chucky is kind of like Resident Evil 4 in the sense that it's like, it's not scary, but it's iconic for its ah. place in the franchise and also just guys being very funny. Yeah. I'm, I'm barely awake right now. Can I finish reading? Uh, yes. <laughs> sorry. Okay, sorry. We got sidetracked by the no, gender well, fluid. Listen to us talk about horror movies first. <laughs> okay. No, go on, go on. Our kid, he said, is Clock Tower Kid okay? Leo had been starting to lose faith in the clown, but it soaked the embers of his hope that Pensive Piero's first I've thought upon returning to himself <laughs> was to ask after his friend. I haven't gotten to her yet, Leo said, shaking his head. You mean she's still lost to the darkness? The poor thing! Jesus, then come with elements. me what to her stage and help me save her! Help me defeat Lance! I don't Lance. think so. The clown shook his head. What will defeating Lance accomplish? Clock Tower Kid doesn't want to leave Wonderworld. She wants to stay. Don't use her as an excuse to keep running away from the real world. The clown shot a sharp glare at him. That's not what I'm doing. The clown doing. shot him. <laughs> <laughs> with, with his gun that he had. It goes hard. You sure? Because it sure looks like you're doing whatever you can yes. to avoid the possibility of Princess Mary now returning your feeling. Leo had started off shouting, but now he was. <coughs> Excuse me. Dollar. Uh, <laughs> you'd rather stay here in limbo than risk a broken heart. He felt a hand fall on his shoulder. When he turned to look, he saw that motherfucker Balan. <laughs> Little one, you shouldn't so harshly speak. That's my job! It isn't his fault humans are weak! You trap yourself oh. in purgatories of your own devising, and tire yourself out with endless Balan agonizing! Balan Wonder Gun. That's, that's the Yoshi Safari Balan type spin-off. <laughs> Balan Gunderworld! <laughs> Easy prey for negativity to devour when you are at your weakest hour! Leo shrugged out from under Balan's touch. I gave you the courage you'd lost, pensive! But Please just call him Piero. <laughs> Use it to Pensive. help me fight Lance. Use it to go back to the real world and finally tell the princess how you feel. Shit. It's okay, this is the last one. But the clown only shook his head. There's no way she'd ever feel the same about me. No, I'd rather stay here in Wonderworld. So you're cool with Clock Tower Kid being a monster forever? Snapped Leo, feeling his face flush. Bleh, feeling his face flush with rage. Hang on. And so Piero flinched. D is... She'll be okay, he mumbled. She's got you to save her. Yeah, leave it to Leo you. Leo let out an aggravated sigh, then turned and left the clown where he was. Okay. Okay. All right. G good night, everyone. Yeah, good night. <laughs> good night. Thank you for sticking night. around. Of course. Have All a right. good sleep. Thank you. I think Good night, gonna, everybody. I think Every we are pony. Gonna be wrapping up soon. Okay. Right. Bye bye. Right. Bye, Cork. All right. Uh, um, let me see. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking of just doing this one last section because I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end until the next chapter. Oh, God. 70% <laughs> of the way through. Oh, no. <laughs> three hey, novel hey, reading up. streams. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the next one won't be two years away. Adachi just mentioned, just sent me a, a, a Steam message saying, Clue, why are you torturing yourself again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just looked at World 9 and saw that all of missing are the balance bouts, and I just hit my eye just fucking Great. twitched.
Alright, uh, I'm gonna see if there's anything enjoyable I can do in the meantime. There's a Balance Bout in World 2 I'm missing. No, you're playing Balance no. Wonderworld! <laughs> there's nothing enjoyable. The the most enjoyable thing about Balan Wonderworld is making fun of Balan Wonderworld. Not playing Balan Wonderworld. I could write a video essay on this game, but that would Please require do. playing more of it. Ah. I remember you. Oh. There was an ask that someone sent uh, someone on on Tumblr, and then you re you reblogged it, saying that uh, talking about when you, when you watched me play through the whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. and I had it sitting in my drafts for months and months, and it says, yes, hello, I am the friend. Uh, Balan <laughs> Wonderworld is... And then I left my draft there, and that was all I finished writing. Because <laughs> it was oh, on mobile. Yeah, because I was... Because I started writing it on mobile, and then I was like, I'll save it when I get back to the computer after work. And then I didn't. If I've... N only if I've never gotten the vacuum blaster. I... I do have Vacuum Blaster, I think. Hmm. So it might the not The one work. that used to be Clock Tower Kid. Rest Freed from Clock Lance's Tower darkness, kid. your friends may be. Yet to fight alongside you, not one will agree. Lamented Balan, a sharp edge to a smirk. Speaking of fighting, you've been putting off facing a certain someone. But avoiding Clock Tower Kid won't help in the long run. Street beat Leo looked away. He did not want to give Balan the satisfaction of seeing how right oh, he yeah, was. Yeah, I do have Aircat now. Uh, where is the funny thing? I can't fight her. She's just a little kid. If I have to, I'll face Lance by myself. You... Because attacking unaided went just as you planned when you and Emma made your ill-fated stand. So she is Balan. Emma. Balan shook his head in exasperation. It won't even hurt her, and yet you still dither? Very well. Then in darkness, she'll wither. Let me ask you the same question you posed Pensive, however. Are you cool letting Clock Tower Kid be a monster forever? <laughs> what the way he says that. Leo ground his teeth. He's made your point. Balan smiled, brushing the brim of his top hat. The, the, the brim of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Clock Tower Kid's town was divided into sections that now floated in midair. They keep falling to the ground too fast. Leo figured this was her attempt to protect the oh, stage I got it. from Spider and Balan. She Hang probably on. laid a bunch of traps everywhere too. Still, it was a relief to see it was still as cute and cheerful as it had been when he first visited. Jump right as it would hit you, okay. Hmm. Now, let me get back in front of it. Okay. He headed yeah! toward the clock tower. <laughs> <laughs> Boing. Yeah! He headed toward the clock tower <laughs> in the center cat. of town. Oh, it doesn't seem to get crushed either. Sensing that's where she would be. <laughs> I don't know why, but watching stage. that infinitely floating animation reminds me a lot of Psychonauts, which just reminded me that I have Psychonauts installed on my PC, or Psychonauts 2 specifically installed on my PC, and I'm playing this piece of shit instead. <laughs> I think the state would be pretty upset if I, play, if I didn't wait for them, though but he should not have relaxed so quickly. He triggered a trap almost right away. He stepped onto a block that zipped out from under him so quickly, even his lightning-fast reflexes were no use in keeping him from falling flat in his face. Wow, what, a, what an incredible trap. He <laughs> shut his eyes to draw upon the stage's power. When he opened them again, he was dressed in a costume called Chrono Bunny. As he not looked Air it over- Not Aircat, really? Not Aircat. He came to understand its ability. It had the power to stop time. Zawaldo. Probably because that that's what she wanted more than anything when the accident happened. To stop time in its tracks. Zawaldo. Clock Tower Kid. Again. Leo felt awful Where's for her. the balance bout? Did I already do the balance bout? Do I need to fight the boss again? I better not have. He made his way again. through her stage, 
Now that he could stop time, it did not matter how fast the trap sprung or how many Negadi attacked him. But he knew the monster that used to be Clock Tower Kid would have the same ability. He couldn't imagine what their battle might look like. Not very hard. After, after some time, he found the heart trees and recovered the two fragments of Clock Tower Kid's heart. Yeah, I think I do need to fight the boss again. Fuck. Uh, this one's the part of her that loves cats, and this is the part of her that has the courage to face reality. This is the part of her what? that loves cats. What the fuck are you talking about, kid? <laughs> he let out a sigh. She's too little to even need the courage to face reality. He really, really did not want to fight her. She's clearly Even not a little girl only... right now, dude. Just get over yourself. Even if it was the only way to save her from the negativity, he knew it was going to hurt her. Suddenly, he noticed a little stuffed animal at his feet. And not just any stuffed animal, a kitten. There could be all sorts of stuffed animals on Clock Tower Kid's stage the first time he visited, but never any cats. He knew that was because her subconscious had blocked out anything to do with cats after the accident. Oh, good for him. Maybe. He knows these things. Maybe, now that she had lost herself to the negativity, that block had come undone. <laughs> this is the part of her that meets, eats her sandwiches with mayo. Just a bit more like <laughs> <laughs> The kitten at Leo's feet looked up at him. There was no doubt in Leo's mind that Clock Tower Kid herself had created it. It had such a terribly lonely look on its little face. You miss her too, don't you? How she used to be, anyway. He thought of the really monster she had turned into, feeling sad. There's no way I could leave her like that! I promised I wouldn't! He gave the toy kitten a good cuddle, making sure to scratch hey. it behind its ears, hey. and then made his way to an entrance that led beneath the clock tower. Clock tower kid, or the thing that had been her at least, was down there. He could feel it. When he turned, he saw clock tower kid's illusion, cradling the kitten in her arms, and looking at him with a worried expression. Don't worry about me, he said, and made his way slowly down the stairs. Down and down he went, into dim depths where the lights from outside barely reached. Suddenly, loud laughter split the silence. His gaze snapped toward where the sound was coming from and saw the monster that had once been Clock Tower Kid. Clock Tower Kid called... is not nearly as cool of a name as they think it is. <laughs> None of she them was, are. No. She was called Perla now. Oh shit, that's I, right. I forgot. I don't I even forgot get the joke. That, that, that there's no there's no enemies that have like ranged attacks uh, that I could use before then. So I I kind of want to try that boss again oh. by just shooting it with a gun. That'd be fun. <laughs> I don't get the joke. Whatever. Perla, like a is. cat. That's it. Yeah, that, that that's it. As far as I can tell, at least. <laughs> this is like and she pearl, was like a jewel? I don't know. A hundred times Leo's weight, at least. The monstrous feline wasted no time in leaping straight for him. He dodged her attack just in time, shouting, It's me! It's Street Beat! But, of course... It's me, Street Beat. <laughs> it's Riku, they he put bugs well... in him. <laughs> <laughs> he might as well be a stranger to her now. She wheeled around and tried to pounce on him again and again. With the others, Leo had weakened them enough that he could get close and thrust the heart fragments into Lance's mark, but he did not want to do that to Clock Tower Kid. Uh, no, he no, it's not, to be it's not Fortherington the Fourth. It's Fortstifer the Fourth. He wanted this to be as painless as possible for her. If I can get it, bitch, in one you are go. exclusively doing this for you. You do not give a rat's ass about how painless it is for her. You are just being selfish right now. Get over yourself. Honestly. Kick her ass. He dodged and rolled around her attacks as he aimed for the mark. But Perla's movements were too erratic for him to get a clear shot. This was shaping up to be his toughest fight yet. Not the pounces really. were dangerous enough on their own, but he also had to watch out for the deadly shock waves that rocked the earth every time her body hit the ground. I just need one shot! Leo had danced for days on end in Wonderworld and never tired, but his face was flushed and sweaty. Now! The monster vanished the moment Leo made him throw the fragments. His intuition prickled, and he turned to see the monster had appeared behind him. Then there was a sharp ache in his chest, and he saw his costume was shredded. 
What happened? What happened? He'd been so focused on ending this in one shot, he completely forgotten about Pearl's ability. She stopped time and attacked me. Well, so two though. can play at that game. Leo made a show of throwing the fragments again. The moment he lifted his hand, he stopped time. So did Perla. Now they were both frozen. And when time started I can again, stop time it started for six both. seconds now. <laughs> <laughs> but Perla had not realized that detail. Thinking Leo was still frozen in time, she stopped toward him. That's literally the bit. That's literally the bit. That is quite That's literally the, JoJo. the exact bit. <laughs> God damn it. Just a little closer. Now! He thrust oh, the oh, 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 oh. Uh. Dismay spread across Perla's face at her prey's unexpected movement. So you can move in my stop time? <laughs> Literally, like, three seconds away from saying the actual line. The negativity started to flake off of her until all that was left was a clock tower kid lying on her side. When her eyes fluttered open, Leo saw they shimmered wetly. Why'd you bring me back to normal? She asked, tears slipping down her cheeks. In the negativity, I didn't have to think about what happened to that poor kitty. Why'd you have to make me go and remember? What do you mean, why? Leo started, but stopped as he felt the hand on his shoulder. It, it was, was that hat. goddamn ballet. Yeah. It was that fucker in the top hat. <laughs> that Street bastard. Street Beat didn't make you remember because you never forgot. Not before your monstrous change, nor while with negativity you were wrought. That's you, a long one. You've never stopped that mourning one. your feline friend. The wound deep in your heart has let Yet yeah, it wasn't men. even her cat, apparently. Leo felt some of his guilt lift at Fallon's words. You can't keep going like this, Clock Tower Kid! Says who? I just want to forget about the kitty I got killed and live in Wonderworld with Pensive forever and ever. Leo started to take a step toward her, but Fallon stopped him. The man slipped off his top hat. Stroking that clock tower kid's turquoise hair. Leo only caught a brief glimpse of the man's face before the hat was back in its usual position, but he was surprised to see that Balan was just as handsome as Lance. You got the anime guy again. Wait, that's yeah. supposed to be at the end of the game. Whatever, I don't care anymore. This novel sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I didn't want to do it. This is it sucks. <laughs> It's, I don't know, I'm having fun. I'm having a good time too, but I'm just, every time, I don't know why, but I expected there to be some redeeming fa factors of the novel compared, <laughs> like there is with the with the game, but there's not. It's just shit. Yep. And what was more, that instant, the, the grin, turn the page please, had slipped from Balan's features, replaced by a look of bitter sadness. Be patient. Be patient with yourself, little one, as you heal. It, it takes time Leo, to recover correct. from such an awful ordeal. He squeezed Clock Tower Kid's hand. Leo put his hand on both of theirs. Look, when you're when you're feeling up to it, we can go back to the real world together and look for the cat. And if you know, I'll help you make a nice resting place for it. Okay? Not helping, kid. <laughs> At that, Leo and Balan left Clock Tower Kid to her stage. Now there remains only one, Lady of the Midnight Sun. Balan's eyes were unfocused, seeming caught on something in the distance as they walked. You know her story? That you could say, in a way, was his vague reply. That's Dubby's wife, right? I think that's the Dubby's wife. Yeah. All right, let's go find Dubby's wife. We're still going? Yep. Yeah. Alright. I can do another chapter. Okay. The one that used to be Lady of the Midnight Sun. Lady That's of the Midnight Sun stage no longer matched her name. Instead of everlasting afternoon, the town had been plunged into an endless polar night with no hope of sunrise. I don't know. I feel like this is definitely not nighttime when we're playing it. 
This is pretty dark. Yeah, it's maybe evening, evening oh, at most. Oh, nope. no, it's pretty dark up That's there. That's night. It's just the bottomless pit is yellow. <laughs> Lady of the Midnight Sun <laughs> does go hard. It's like sunset colors, I guess, but then just stretching too far down. Yeah. Something it's like, like they just took a gradient that was really nice and then just stretched it weird. Snow drifted on the breeze. The river and lake were frozen solid. Lady of the Midnight Sun's illusion was pointing to the top of the cliff, though the ground was so slippery that climbing up there seemed all but impossible. Street Beat Leo closed you his eyes. You are really overselling the difficulty of this game, my friend. <laughs> when he opened them again, he was in a costume called Frost Fairy. Oh, good. The vestment looked for woven out of ice itself, glittering with all the beauty of fresh snow. Leo spread his hands out in front of him, and in the air appeared a gigantic snowflake, big yeah, enough good. for him to Leo's stand on. The game. Leo knows where it's at. <laughs> Gingerly, he tested his weight on the snowflake, but he did not need to worry. It was sturdy enough to bear him, and then some. Creating snowflake after snowflake, it was sturdy enough Leo to bear him and Emma, who was also there. Just, just suddenly. <laughs> he thought he would find a heart tree up here, but it wasn't just the one. It was both of them, entwined together. Even though the rest of the novel has kind of <laughs> ignored the search for the second one and implied that they're like in the same place up to now. Weird. None of the other's heart trees had been like this. Plus, the negative barrier surrounding the trees looked more than twice as thick as normal. As one, the Tims rammed into the barrier. It did not disappear, but the Tims still got smaller, their color fading. Even as weakened as they were, they geared up to ram the barrier a second time. Like dumbass. No, wait! Called Leo, but the Tims lurched into the barrier before he could stop them. They bounced off it again and started to flicker and vanish. Are you okay? Why do they make Leo you picked up three separate cutscenes for this boss? Or for every boss? It's really annoying. Uh. Leo picked Video up games. one of the tiny Tims. <laughs> the tiny <laughs> Tims. Cradling it in his arms. <laughs> the tiny Tim. Oh, that's a scary <laughs> one! Yeah! <laughs> Who gives a shit what about is it? interacting with the Why? boss? Why? It's... It's... <laughs> like, what day is it? Why? It's April 2nd, Sam! No, it's like... Uh, what day is it? Why, it's March 26th, 2021! Oh, God! <laughs> he wasn't sure what the expression on his face meant, but there was no mistake in the tears pooling in its eyes. It must be really painful for them to ram into negativity like that. Nice. Such an idiot, he muttered, angry with himself for not realizing that sooner. I'm so sorry. Tim chirped as if in response to his apology. He set the Tim back down and studied the heart trees. There was a tiny crack spiderwebbing through the negative barrier where it had been struck. I'll finish what you started! Leo wound Chaos up a punch, focusing all, his, focusing all his strength into it and let it fly. His blow bounced right off the barrier, an agony like he'd never known before sang up his arm. He screamed in pain and collapsed to the ground, gasping and panting. Once his breathing finally evened out, he turned to face the heart trees again. The crack had gotten bigger. Leo pulled his fist back again and threw everything he had into another strike. Suddenly, he was on his back, blinking blearily into the dark night. He wasn't sure how long he'd been lying there. His whole body ached. The pain must have made him pass out. The Tims were gathered around him, worry on their fuzzy faces. He rolled his head over and saw the two heart fragments glittering on the ground beside him. He'd done it. He picked up the heart fragments, turning them over in his hands. The part of her that loves people, and the part of her that can accept love from others. And the part of her that... Uh, the part of her that loves du loves Dubby, and the part of her <laughs> that is her wife. <laughs> this is the only joke we have about this character. Because I refuse to resort to a frozen joke. That must be why both trees have grown in the same place and been so tightly intertwined. The fragments were two sides of the same coin. But out of all the fragments he'd collected so far, something told him the ones Lady of the Midnight Sun had thrown away were the most important. 
and that was enough for him to get a sense of just how powerful she really was. Plus, she hadn't set any traps or anything on her stage. That must mean she had enough confidence to take out Leo all on her own, in whatever monstrous form she'd turned into. He shuddered a little at the thought. But Lady of the Midnight Sun's illusion still stood, silent and expressionless, pointing. I, had a, I had a moment where I was staring at Streetbeat uh, doing his idol animation, and I realized that uh, I, I had the realization where he's like, oh god, th he's not breathing normally. They're just making the model fucking swell up again. Like, <laughs> we've noticed it before, but it doesn't get any less unsettling. So that's where I'll find her, huh? Leo delved through the stage. It got chillier and chillier the further he went. Just when he thought he couldn't bear it any longer, something other than the cold made him freeze. You can One hex edit night. Tim's? No way. That's hilarious. Oh. If, you could, if there's a, like an easy way to do that, um, then please, please describe it. I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to see a giant Tim. That'd be very funny. Out of the ice appeared the monster that had once been Lady of the Midnight Sun. She looks like... Leo's breath hitched in his throat. She looks like death itself. Her I face don't... was sharp and pale, her body nothing but bones. Leo knew better than to think she was as frail as she looked. Her slender fingers crooked in sinuous movements that seemed to beckon to the afterlife. That's a good word. Sinuous... <laughs> couldn't comprehend this creature having come from Lady of the Midnight Sun. The tiny spark of beauty he had found in the other monsters was utterly absent from her. Even the one that he could not stop going on about how ugly it was. <laughs> the monster. The Grim Creeper. God, really? Are you fucking serious? That's what Every you're going with? Every name has been downhill since, that name, since Fort's the This chapter's chapter actually the feeling forward. pretty decent for this book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Save edit it online. The Grim Creeper hurled a ring of Creeper. ice right at her. Creeper. Leo barely dodged in time. The ice only grazed him, but it left a huge gash where it brushed against his costume. The edges were sharper than the sharpest sword. And it wasn't just the ice rings he had to worry about. Lady of the Midnight Sun was dead set on protecting her stage, so she was throwing everything she had at him. Deadly icicles hurtled out of the sky, threatening to skewer him if he made one wrong move. He took every care not to. Knock it off already! Leo yelled, even though he knew it was pointless. Knock it off, Knuckles! Oh, no. <laughs> she couldn't understand him. The way Grim Creeper fought was on a totally different level from the other monsters. He had his work cut out for him, dodging around the bladed edged rings and icicles as he tried to find Lance's mark. He finally spotted it, encased in her ribs. But finding it didn't do him much good now that she was ramping up her attacks. There was ice everywhere. It did not matter how quick he was on his feet. It did not matter how quick on his feet he was if he couldn't keep his footing on the slippery ground. She was driving him into a corner. I'm gonna lose! But then, he remembered the Tims the way they had rammed into the heart trees for him time and time again. They never gave up, so I won't either! Uh, wow, Nim, which forward. value would I want to change? He pressed onward, closing the gap between him and Grim Creeper, no matter how many times the ice slashed him. Just as he felt his consciousness beginning to slip away, okay. he saw Lance's mark appear right in front of him. He scraped up the last of his strength, and hurled the heart fragments into it. Anguish warped Grim Creeper's face as she sank slowly to her knees and turned back into Lady of the Midnight Sun. Father, mother, she mumbled, without sparing a glance for Leo, her erstwhile foe. Tears slipped down her cheeks. Why did you get rid of the part of you that loves people and the part of you that can accept love from others? Lady of the Midnight Sun snapped her head up, glaring at him. Why are you trying to destroy my stage? This is the only place I can forget about my parents, and you're trying to take that away. What? He said, rattled by her accusing tone. You hate them? Y your mom and dad? 
She gave a violent shake of her head. No, I love them. Loved, I should say. And they loved me. They're fucking me. dead. They loved me so much that when they stayed up, that they stayed up all night and all day to take care of me when I got sick. They loved me so much that they were happier than I was when I won my piano competition. They loved me so much that they took one bite of the first meal I ever cooked and told me it was the most delicious thing they'd eaten in their whole lives. Why the fuck you want to forget about them? They, they wanted to get me something special for Christmas. They left me at home so it would be a surprise. I remember waving at them as they drove off. It wasn't and then they died in a car accident. I got the call. There'd been an accident. I wanted to forget that in the real world, they're never coming home. That's awful, stammered Leo, at a loss for what else to say. You don't know the first thing about awful. The more you love someone, the more they love you. The oh you my god! Look at it! Look at it! I want to. I want to. No, there's no screen share. <laughs> your screen's gone. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I had to close the game, so I had to stop the screen share. We interrupt this painful monologue about love and death to bring you a weird-shaped bird. <laughs> Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Did it? Did it die? No, 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 no. Exactly. I think it fell. It went into the middle. It's in the machine. There it is. Oh, I there, it there it is. is. There it is. <laughs> what? Tall bird. Why is it? Why is I, it tall? I edited the save file and just made it fucking large. You have meddled in God's domain. Hang on, let me see what else I can do with it. Long Tim. <laughs> tall. T O L tall. Every time. Anyway, anyway, back to the depression. <laughs> every time you think about them, every time you remember something, it hurts and it hurts and it hurts. That's why I stopped loving anyone after my parents were gone. Why I stopped letting anyone love me. I didn't want to be hurt anymore. I wanted to forget about anyone I loved and anyone who loved me and just stay here alone in my how stage. How do I make it just, how do I make it larger in general? Like not just the root scale. Is it, is there another value I need to edit for it? Sobbing, gasping for breath. Lady of the Midnight Sun crumpled to her knees seeming to have exhausted herself shouting. Leo blinked and saw There's Balan standing skills. beside her. Oh, that's root skills. He took Z. off his I top hat again, away. and this time, Leo got a better look at his face. His usual grin was gone, and he beheld Lady of the Midnight Sun with an intensely sorrowful gaze. Balan crouched beside her, resting a gentle hand on her shoulder. For a while, he did not move or say anything. When he finally spoke, it was like he had to wring each word out of the fabric of his being. I wish I could say your suffering's done, but I fear that it's it only, only just, just begun. Fuck off. Fuck off. That is the stupidest rhyme ever. There's no fast way through this, no shortcut to take, though I hope you'll weather the distance for your dear parents' sake. They wouldn't want to see you in pain, to see you throw life and love down the drain. With that, Balan and Leo left Lady of the Midnight Sun to her thoughts and slipped off through the snow. Where's my boy? A long silence stretched between them as they walked. Then Balan said, Oh god! Holy oh, shit, that's a giant Tim! <laughs> Why is it growing and shrinking? <laughs> there he goes. Calm. Too, too big for the goddamn playground. Get out of the machine. I need to pick him up. <laughs> No, he's trapped now, he can't get out. He's stuck. You Tim's condemned him to an eternal purgatory. Tim's stuck, have you done? Purgatim. I was thinking about what you said back there, about her parents. Wondering what they'd want Poor for thing. her. 
get out of there. Uh, yes. Care to take a guess? I think they'd want her to love and be loved and to be happy and to laugh a lot. That made Balance smile. You know, little one, that sounds about right. I love my poor son. <laughs> he's trapped. <laughs> yeah, the idle animation is broken. It seems like he's not behaving properly. Uh, I he wonder, patted Leo I encouragingly on the back. But to make that happen, there's still Lance to fight. Wherever he is. Without a word, Balan lifted a finger. Leo looked where he was pointing and saw Fighter's illusion. Fighter Emma has you covered. The way to Lance's stronghold, it's she, it seems she's discovered. She's quite good at pathfinding, you know. Get back here! Get back here! After all, it was she no. who led you to the stage full of snow. Yes! Got him! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Shrinking! Broken! <laughs> what? Oh, <my. laughs> As delightful as this on? is, this is a little terrifying. I think I might change change this poor creature back. Put that thing out of its misery. Toss it off the edge. No, 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 no. I got, I gotta, I gotta make it regular size, larger than average, but regular size. But Fighter had a long, ragged tear in her costume. No, no, no! The battle shouldn't have started yet! Cried Balin. Quickly now, Leo. Emma alone shouldn't face that threat. Another tear appeared in the illusion's costume. Leo ran. He didn't know how long he ran. He didn't notice when everything had become shrouded in darkness, nor when Balan and the Tims had disappeared from his side. From somewhere up ahead, he could feel pulses of immense power. Guess I'm the only one Lance wants to see. He kept walking. Suddenly, a tidal wave of niggity swelled up all around him, whirlpooling closer and closer. Get out of my way! Though he had barely whispered the command, he saw a shudder ripple through the negaty. Leo knew, somehow, that even though there were thousands of them and only one of him, they wouldn't dare touch him now. He stepped forward. The wall of negaty drew back, parting into a path. At the end of the path, he found Lance, glowing with the dark luminescence of negativity. And, at his feet, her costume torn to shreds, lay Fighter Emma. Leo rushed to her at once. Oh, sorry, she said, drawing oh, short. He's more normal now. She looked up at him. He's still too large. <laughs> and his face keeps disappearing every once in a while. Freaky! But, but he is, he is normal size. This is average for Tim. Is it? Are sort you of. sure? The clipping that. seems to disagree. I tried. I'm setting it back to normal. I this thing is scaring him. me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Leo shouted at Lance. You didn't have to hurt her. She is Balan's ally and therefore my enemy. And now so are you, I am sad to see. Said Lance with a That's shake right, of his head. That's right, Lance rhymes too. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> no matter. I just have to begin anew. Seal away everyone's memories again. Once I defeat you, back to normal, your stages will go. Just like everyone wanted, I'll make it so. Tim That's not what any of us want! Not really! Not really, you say. Is that so? Then I suppose what is real, you think you know. Yeah, I do! Slowly, Lance began to rise into the air stroking the tentacles protruding from his back. I hate that. Then, Why would you say it like that? Then, suddenly, there were five of him. Show me them. At least that's an accurate depiction of his fake. boss fight. <laughs> which one is me, and which are just shadows in my wake? Lance let out a scornful laugh. Leo donned Tornado Wolf, keeping a close eye on, on the Lance's every move. The five of them smirked, then launched themselves at Leo one after the other. Lance was way faster than any of the other monsters. Leo could barely evade the attacks in time. He dodged the last Lance's blow by a hair, pivoted to Lance number two, and threw a punch as hard as his costume would let him. As but hard Lance as his costume his would let him. 
happened without any effort at all. Well done indeed, and done very well, said Lance, lifting an eyebrow. You fucker, he that's literally the same thing. <clears throat> you found the real me, but how could you tell? The other ones didn't hold back when they attacked me. You did, if only a little. Lance tilted his head. How curious that I acted so mean. It was not my intention, but I suppose my heart is still weak. That won't do. That won't do at all. He closed his eyes. I shall have to rely on my well, true fuck. form to finish this brawl. Nigaki flocked to him by the hundreds, clinging to every inch of his body. Leo watched in horror as Lance transformed into an even larger, more powerful, more hideous monster, covered head to toe into those marks of his. He was negativity incarnate. Tentacles unfurled out of a massive bulk, embellished with countless marks. The other monsters had been horrible, but they all re retained at least some small vestige of the human they had once been. But not this one. This one exuded nothing but the pure, horrifying, revolting power of negativity. And now that Leo saw it, he knew its true name. Shadow Lance. Good work. God, I'm not crying after the fun ones. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Leo, I guess. Yeah, I ran out of costumes. It swept one of its fat tentacles toward Leo, whipping up whirlwinds in its path. The tornadoes locked on, turning to bear down on him even when he dodged out of the way. They were nothing like the Twister Scarecrow had used when he had been a monster. Those ones had been made of air, after all. These ones were pure negativity, howling at high speeds. And they just kept coming, one after another. I can't keep this up, Leo thought desperately, sweat st slicking his forehead. He lost count of how many there were, but he didn't need to know their exact number to know that there were too many to dodge. Guess I better go on the offensive then. Stealing himself, Leo lunged toward Shadowlands, striking a blow at one of his marks. As soon as the fist connected, a blast of negative power burst from the mark and disintegrated his costume. The agony that filled him was worse than when he struck Lady of the Midnight Sun's heart trees. It was a pain unlike anything Leo had ever known. All that, and it didn't seem to have even rattled Shadow Lance. One of the marks disappeared, but that was it. With a motion like he was shooing a fly, Shadow Lance sent the half-fainted Leo flying away. Leo gave a groan as he struggled to his feet. Shadow Lance watched him with a cold stare. His legs threatening to give out from under him, Leo changed into Chrono Bunny, hoping against hope the costume's clock-stopping ability would help him. Thank goodness, it worked! He sprang at Shadow Lance, but the monster had only looked frozen in time, and batted Leo away again before he could react. You think you have me best with that one? You think you can best me with that little trick? Here, in my stage, you've no more power than a fly or a tick. That was the Leo worst one so far. Leo collapsed to his knees. Mm -hmm. He didn't have the strength to keep fighting. He's gonna win with Box Fox calling it now. <laughs> he struggled as one of Shadowlance's tentacles wrapped itself around him, but his flailing only made it crush him tighter. As his vision blurred and faded, he saw two glowing somethings zip through the air. They crashed into Shadowlands, sending up a shower of sparks before plummeting to the ground and flickering out. It was Sentinel and Watcher. They lay unmoving where they had fallen. They were both clad in costumes, not of negative power, but of the positivity that Street Beat Leo himself had been drawing upon. But their costumes were now shredded and scorched from where they had collided with Lance's marks. Sorry, we're late. Leo knew the pain that Sentinel must be in, but the firefighter still managed a bashful smile. Not really living up to my name. Amazing Digital it. Circus, the video game. I wish they Do not were... slander Digital Circus. I was going to say, <laughs> I, I wish there was a more apt comparison, but it is equivocal to my digital hell. <laughs> <laughs> 
self-imposed. That goes that goes for me too, said Watcher, struggling to her feet despite the wounds covering her body. Hey. Though they seemed worse for wear, did not their positive any power wounds. seemed to have dealt some damage to Shadowlands in return. Two of his marks had disappeared. Two more glowing somethings crashed into the monster. You'll pay for what you've turned Clock Tower Kid into, growled the first, pensive Pierrot. The second, Clock Tower Kid, nodded emphatically. He's not the only one ready to kick your butt. Any enemy of Pensive's oh. an enemy of mine. Oh. Oh. Light after light hurtled into Shadowlands, staggering the monster back. Sorry I hemmed and hawed for so long, said Scarecrow. I'm sure I that they give really up on my dream after all. I'm sure they really Gazer. thought this was like the the Avengers Assemble moment, but it really doesn't. <laughs> it really does not. There, it doesn't. I I do not. I'm not attached to any of these characters other than maybe Street Beat Leo because of his funny name. <laughs> Me either," said Sea Gazer. "A life without the ocean is no life at all." They flew at Shadowlands, their costumes shimmering with positive power. I knew you loved us in your own way, said Bugsy, aiming for one of Lance's marks. So, I'm sorry about this, but my butterflies need me. You turn on me, each of you, every last one. Bitterness laced Shadow Lance's voice. After all I have loved you, all I've given and done. What kind of adults would we be if we let children fight our battles for us, said Madam of the Mansion as she and Invisible Custodian rushed the monster. One no after another. No one could another. see the Invisible Custodian, then. <laughs> His marks vanished. I Compare this to the game, with the adults and the child got to fight their battle for them. Yeah. Checker King landed a punch where the staggering Shadowlands showed him an opening. The monster fell to his knees at last. There were still two marks left. Is that all you've got? Your every attack? Because it is victory in the mine. And I'll have you back. Lance glyphed it. I keep Victory looking at the I fucking mine. typo. Victory, I, no mine. mine. <laughs> Chess related incident. Lance lifted his hand, but a blinding light flashed through the air and crashed into him. It was Lady of the Midnight Sun. She fell without a word fainting with a, fad, a sad smile on her face. Leo looked at each of his wounded friends, scattered across the ground around him. They couldn't even manage one fucking hit on the boss, Jesus. <laughs> I knew how much you wanted to stay on your stages, how much they meant to you, yet you still came to help me! He tore his eyes from his friends to glare at Shadow, Shadow Lance and saw Fighter Emma struggling to stand. No! Leo didn't even have time to shout the word before she charged at the monster. Not at the last mark, but at the tentacle still binding Leo. Her blow weakened its grip around him, and he rolled himself free. Here goes nothing! Leo gathered the very last dregs of his power, then rammed himself into Lance's mark. Light, negative, and positive both exploded around them. When the brilliance finally faded away, Leo saw Lance lying at the explosion's epicenter, back to the form he'd had the first time they'd met. You may not believe it's true, he murmured sadly, as he faded away before Leo's very eyes. But I only ever loved all the of victory you. Victory, I'm mine. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and then, he was gone. He's dead! The game is over. It's, it's over. Leo looked at Emma, and at each of his friends in turn as they all stirred awake again. I... He scrubbed his face with his sleeve. Thank you. All of you. A sudden brightness flooded the dark, and Leo squinted into it, confused. When had they gotten to the Balan Theater? Balan himself stood before them, applauding. Well done, little one, well done. Leo's friends rose slowly to their feet. I passed your test, said Leo loudly. Balan grinned. You defeated Lance, certainly. But that, well, that wasn't your real test, you see. Jesus. The fuck? What the fuck? 
Never fear, little one. You still passed. But I knew you wouldn't do exactly as I asked. If I'd said outright your test was to find people to trust and befriend, why, you'd stubbornly refuse until the bitter end. So, to you, a slightly different task I set. Which, for defeating Lance, my many thanks you get. Now that his power has waned, he could have done Wonder it the World whole time, but his, has once again but he gave him regained. homework instead. <laughs> As he spoke, Balan started growing see-through, as did the entire theater and the Tims. What's happening? said Leo, echoing his friend's shocked exclamations. The time for you to leave Wonderworld is here. Since you no longer need the Balan Theater, it will disappear. Perhaps you'll find it once more, if your heart ever again goes astray. Or Bad perhaps not. A ghost. Who is to say? But with full certainty, this I can declare. It was a delight to have you, my friends. A joy beyond compare. Balan doffed his top hat and swept into a low bow. Clock Tower Kid's eyes widened in surprise. You're better looking than I thought. Thank you, thank you. I'm flattered to tell the truth. Emma snickered. You're certainly nicer than any of us thought. Why, am I? Balan spun his top hat on his head, grinning that grin of his. With the lavish theater fading fast around them, Leo and his friends crowded close around Balan. Go back where you came from, you lot. Dottle here much longer, you really ought not, he said with a shoot motion. Without warning, Emma flung her arms around Balan. Bewilderment flickered across his face. Leo didn't want to say goodbye to the Tims. And annoying as Balan had been at the beginning, the man had grown on him. Leo joined Emma in hugging him, but Balan put a gentle hand on his back and gave him a soft push toward the exit. Everyone chatted as they walked toward the front doors, stealing glances back over their shoulders. We're gonna stay friends even once we get back to the real world, right? Asked Emma. Everyone nodded emphatically. Including, of course, Leo. I'm gonna perfect my flying machine, vowed Sky Gazer to everyone's horror. <laughs> Dear <laughs> God, no. <laughs> I added that bit. I, I'm, I'm reading along at this point because I'm getting a cutscene play at this point. Yeah. All right. I'll head back to the ocean, said Sea Gazer. Though, I think it's too soon to start swimming again just yet. I kind of made fun of everyone for being so into the El Trondos, but they might be cool to see. Think we can catch them tonight? Leo asked Emma. The meteor shower? The news said it was only for one night. The El Trondos, hmm? Pensive Piero frowned and thought. I haven't heard of them. But I know what I need to do. I'm going back to Christmas Rose Park and telling the princess how I feel. She might not feel the same, but I'll never know unless I say something. If I don't, all that time I spent in Wonderworld will have been for nothing. Christmas Rose Park? Where's that? I've never heard of it before. Clock Tower Kid had a sad look in her eyes as she took the clown's hand. Though, I guess I ought to go back to that clock tower. Beside Checkered King stood his queen, fading away with the Tims and everything else. You aren't my wife, said Checkered King to the you queen. You aren't my wife. Him sorrowfully. You're just my memories of her. No amount of wishing will bring her back. He embraced her. You were born of my heart, so to my heart you should return. At that, a wide smile lit the queen's face. This is not she my beautiful her house. To King's this is not my beautiful wife. <laughs> into his chest. Wait a second. Wait a second. This kid on the right, the blonde kid, with his hair up, he looks like the kid, the the, the young adult that uh, challenged uh, Checkered King to chess. He does. That's entirely possible. That is entirely <laughs> possible. She is Leave not your real time. wife. <laughs> yeah. She's not your real wife. Oh my god. I'm absolutely Checkered King obsessed held with his the arms around the of a shared universe. Or sh like where the queen had been for a little while longer. That dude was ripped. Well, I'm saying, like, I'm saying, like, because we know that time fuckery is a thing, it could be that mm -hmm. it was him from the from the past. Wait, <laughs> Sam Kid can't be good at both chess and dancing. That's incompatible skill sets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a bit of a strange shot. Both when it's dex said... and intelligence? Wait, though. 
I took a screenshot when it said directed Yuji Naka. <laughs> <laughs> With that, Leo, Emma, and their 12 friends stepped out of the Balan Theater. Why no is there so much space the around it? What is this fucking House of Leaves? <laughs> Wait, why did just the chess guy specifically get that send off? Mm -hmm. the art no one is remained also in the Balan nice. Theater, save for Balan himself, the Tims, and a few lingering negati. After sending everyone on their way home, Balan turned and made his way to the heart of the theater. There, he found Lance, as transparent as a ghost. Balan let out a slight, a light snort. Masquerading as Wonderworld's maestro is quite ill-advised. I hope I can take this to mean you've been properly chastised. Lance's eyes fluttered open. It was no masquerade, not in the sense you imply. But I suppose, yes, by omission, I did lie. Jeez, I call myself I maestro. I have two I indeed have two lines <laughs> that are rhyming in this scene. <laughs> Not of Wonder World now, but Wonder World that was. Oh? I was the one who kept positive and negative powers in harmony. Before I was called Lance, my name was Balan, you see. Fuck you! <laughs> oh. Denying it won't make it any less true. But now, I have a question for you. Have you any memory of the real world you can recall? 3,000 3, years. years it's been. After what the fu- All the cool shit's happening now. <laughs> Balan's breath hitched in his throat. No, I- Why? Even his stupid little, like, fucking cutoff thing is entirely in rhyme. I hate it. I hate it so much. And oh, and no. Oh. Oh, god damn it, you're right. <laughs> Before you became Balan, it was my part to play. But I grew too close to the humans, and to their sorrow and sadness fell prey. Balan no longer, but Lance I became, and negativity began laying upon Wonderworld its claim. To save, there was only one thing I could do, and that was to create a new Balan. You. Faint smile played across Lance's lips. Inevitable now, moving timeline of Balan and Lance. It still goes on. I hate it <laughs> so much. But now you're falling in love with them too. Be careful, Balan, or Lance will soon call you. Never! Shouted Balan. That won't happen ever. Honestly, enough with the self-deception. You normally take everyone's memories when they leave. So why this time did you make an exception? Why? Because... I... Balan took a flustered step back. And what is that running down your cheek? Don't tell me your eyes have started to leak. Balan jerked a hand up to his face. When he pulled his fingers back, they were wet with tears. Face it, you don't stand a chance. It's only a matter of time until you become Lance. I, I don't... I won't... I hate this so Just much. Look. I hate this exchange so much. It's awful. Slowly, Lance got to his feet, a small, sad smile playing across his features. That's what I said too, he muttered. But it was too late for me. It was too late for you. Balan gave a furious shake of his head. I swear on my top hat, I will not end up like that! <laughs> oh my god, I just noticed away. that that's what your emote is. That's cute. It's the baby. It's uh, Dubby's wife's baby. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that's so silly. Lance wandered slowly away into Wonderworld, his weakened negative stumbling after him. Do you hear me?! Balan shouted after his retreating form. I refuse to share your destiny! Part four, after. Oh my god, there's still more, I forgot. <laughs> oh, there's so much more. I thought we were done! Do you want to read this during Faces of Evil? That'd be funny. <laughs> when, when do we find opportunity to? Yeah, when during so the actual gameplay segments. Thank you so much for sticking around, Wow, and it was good to see you. I, forget, yeah. I think you were around for when I was speedrunning the game. 
Uh, or maybe I might have been thinking of someone else. But yeah, thank you for sticking around and for sharing fun facts. Like, getting yeah, caught that, frozen in midair. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I genuinely do have a, a, a disgusting degree of affection for this game. <laughs> and I don't blame you. Yeah. I do think well, that there's... One more session of book reading, although it's going to be shorter this time. Yeah, and maybe we'll have Dubby and we'll go through the Act 3 stages again. Because yeah. we didn't do the Act 3 stages last time. But yeah, I, I'm I'm about done. I'm, I'm done for the night. Me and too. I, don't, I can't I, can't I need water. Another part. Right. <laughs> Let's see. Is there a target to raid? <laughs> Clueless acquires Clueless Stockholm acquires. Syndrome. Acquires? He's played this game like five times. Uh, hang on, let me think. Uh, the first time on PS4 where I mimed taking out the disc and snapping it, um, <laughs> that was a fun finale. I was I was still really proud of that. Um, the uh second time I played it was on the Switch as a joke, but I didn't finish it, and I did do two speed runs, one where it was a botched run, and then one where I actually finished the game in a reasonable amount of time. So I think between those, I've finished the game three times, but the number of times I've really played played the game, like, proper, would probably be closer to, like, two. Like, two full playthroughs, ah. which is weird. This is a blast to watch. Good. I'm glad that my uh, hyperfixations on shitty things are bring good... <laughs> on uh... the worst of garbage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Speaking of the worst of garbage, um, do what are you guys? What's your guys' schedule like on Thursday? Do you think you'd be around for Faces of Evil? Uh, Likely. I think I'm not working then. Oh boy. I am not. At working least that's then. garbage we haven't already done several times over. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Um. Because the problem is with Balan Wonderworld is now we're at a point where we've run out of things to talk about. Okay, I haven't, but I can't do that while I'm playing. Um, mm. Or while there's a book being read. Um, so I, I genuinely think that one of... You know what I should do? You know that 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 idea that I was I had the adaptation station where I was just gonna do like adapt like where I do reviews of adaptations of different works uh like reviewing uh like uh like Resident Evil and the Resident Evil movie and uh or like Persona Five the game and the anime um and how it's the the anime is kind of a waste of time um. Yushinaka needs to commit a new crime. You're right. That that would justify me doing another stream of this because this was for the end. Well, Yushinaka breaks out of right. prison. <laughs> this game attack is boring. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it would give me an excuse to bust out top hat clue again. I'm I'm unreasonably happy with this stupid little edit I made. <laughs> I I do still I do kind of want to make one where it's just sticking off of on top of Mush's head, to, and then Dragoni has <laughs> yep. one where it's one hat on each horn, <laughs> like <laughs> Chancellor Cole from Spirit Tracks. That'd be <laughs> fun. <laughs> and of course, Quark gets one per little triangle bit. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me see if there's anyone that's live that we can raid. Um, no one I'm following, alas. Uh, I have two people I'm following live. Uh, Clueless Anonymous and Disgruntled Mushroom. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Uh, two things. Um... Um... Oh, there's you. Um We I think we're going to raid uh we're going to raid the Juker cuz uh Juker's playing DK64 randomizer. Jukes. Ooh. Yeah. 
but this is oh my god he's playing his pink diddy kong that's great <laughs> i think they took like the multiplayer palettes and like uh Oh, long time sitting. Uh, let me stand up and stretch. I do need to make sound notifications for those. Oh my god, he, Lanky Kong is fucking green. <laughs> this is a fun. This is a fun one. I I really want to do a DK sixty four playthrough. The melons are red. Melons. Mm. Oh goodness. Healed watermelons. Fit might have a good st that would be that's a good place to look for it. Or just a Wii Fit trainer. I forgot Come about Ring Fit. Let's stand up and stretch. I haven't. I've been playing it every couple of days. I should. You get back into it. I'm so out of shape. I have save data on my Switch from when I played it uh, at the apartment with Maddie. Um, and I still need my own copy. Also, Ring Fit would fit the brand because of Knuckles and the Ring. Ha! Yeah, but that's not a stream game. No, no. I would not be streaming it. Alright. Uh, okay. Let's raid Juker. I mean, Sap streamed it Juker once from Persona camp. 5. Yeah, Ju <laughs> Juker Persona 5. <laughs> Alright. Thank you all. Uh, wait, wait. We need a raid message. What's our raid message? chess related incident uh, that that works for me <laughs> all right we survived a chess related incident good night everyone thank you so much for watching good night. Like, see ya